Wait, configure recording path could not be open. Please check your recording path under settings output slash recording. All right, I should probably share my screen for this because let's see what the fuck's going on. Uh, all right, so I need to go to output stream. Uh, you're streaming now. Is it, is it going through? It says stop streaming, so that means it is streaming. Okay, I guess we should start. Well, should we start recording? No, I don't do the recording. Okay. Um, we'll just hold on. Is it coming through on YouTube? Yeah. Okay. So we'll just pull, pull it off the uh, All right, well then I will get out of this and share. And we will share something more useful. So what does it look like on YouTube? Can you see the secrets of human influence? Let me pull it up. Yep. All right, I don't see my chat, the uh, proverbial chat window that came up last time. So, uh, so I do see it on YouTube, and uh, it looks good. And you've got a couple of people saying hi, so. <laughs> okay, yeah, the chat's not coming up for me this time. Um, so you're going to have to say hi for me. You're going to have to be me, dude. Yeah. Let me actually move up here and come here. So I can respond to it. Um, see if it's just hidden somewhere, because it probably is. I click down on the taskbar, and then um, see if there's like a hidden window there. Uh, don't see it here. Way if I can, if I really need to, but I don't I don't know if I'm gonna be able to see that. I'm gonna be able to see most of the chats if I do it the way I need to do it for this interface. You know what I mean? If you go down to where it is, you right click on it, see if, if there's another window there. Right. No, I don't know what you mean. Or hover over the OBS on the on the taskbar. Okay. Uh, let's, no, it just says OBS Studio. It says pin the taskbar and close window. No. It's all right. I can I can get to the chat through the YouTube interface. Okay. It's just it's just not as clean. Okay. Sounds good. I did drop something in the chat, so everyone knows. YouTube is not receiving enough video to maintain smooth streaming. As such, viewers will experience buffering. Okay, I don't know exactly what that means, but you know what? I'm gonna have to use. I'm gonna have to use a. Uh, Close this streaming window. Will that close everything? No, I wouldn't do that. Though. Like, just keep the chat open. Chat. So I, yeah, I, I got. Yeah. This is. I'm gonna have a very crowded screen. I'm just telling you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's it's much better. Maybe it might be good to go 
like my external monitor that's not mirrored. Uh, so he's got a lot more screen real estate to got his shack on the stuff to record this. Uh, yeah. Chat, your texts are coming through. All right, then I, I, I yeah, but I, as long as the chat's viable, then I can. That's gonna, that might be distracting, but we'll see what happens. So. Okay. Sounds good. All right, I think we're good. All right. So when should I start actually streaming? Um, right at the top of the hour. That's when everyone's starting. So that's when I just hit go live and that's it? Yep. Yep. Okay. <laughs> cool. All right, I might do my little, I might, I might jump on a little bit early. Did, did you go over stuff with Stephanie? Yeah. Yeah, I've been talking to her. Okay. Do you want me to keep this line open just in case or is we just going to work through text and chat? Actually, you'll be in the you'll be in the in the, uh, in, the, in the in the interface. So I guess I don't know. Yeah. Well, I would just keep your phone there, so if I like to text you or you text me or something. Okay. Sounds like a plan. All right, I'll talk. I'll see you a little bit. Sounds good. Bye. Sometimes you tell the day by the bottle that you drink. Times when you're alone, I want you to do this thing. A cowboy, I'm a steel on the side of the road.
straight. Right, six string on the Hey everyone, this is Dr. David Snyder. If you can hear me out in YouTube land, please type in the chat, yes, I can hear you. Oh wait, there's a little bit of a lag, so um, 
We're testing a whole new platform today, so there, there might be a few glitches here and there, and I just want to make sure that everybody can, in fact, hear me. idea why that's that needs to go away no. all right there's considerable delay here okay great Amelia thank you all right so like I said, we are streaming from my, uh, through a new platform today. My good friends at Jet Webinar, uh, have, we finally exceeded our capacity on Zoom. So we decided that we were going to switch over to uh, our old standby, Jet Webinar. And uh, there is a, a significant delay between when, um, when I speak and when this, this information shows up uh, in your chat. So. So you should probably factor in maybe a, I don't know, a 90 second to a two minute delay between what's going on in the chat versus what goes on in the uh, national thing. Your chats look like they're in real time, and, uh, but I have to type in a different keyboard. So if I look like I'm juggling weird stuff while I'm teaching the webinar today, uh, <laughs> that's why. But I do want to say I'm really excited. I hope everybody had a great Thanksgiving or whatever holiday you, you celebrate at this time of year. Today's class is all about influence. It's about how to move through the world wielding what I believe is, in fact, the ultimate social survival skill. We'll talk a little bit more about my beliefs on that and how it works. But the bottom line is, is my intention for you is to come away from this webinar with three to four hardcore solid tools that you can use anywhere, anytime, under any circumstances to get more of what you want and hear a no, hear no a whole lot less. Uh, all without lying, cheating, stealing, or negatively manipulating another human being. So that's my intention. Uh, for those of you who are brand new to Planet David, I just this is kind of our pre-game warm-up, and I just wanted to get on and kind of uh, if you're new and you're used to like the 90, the, the 60 minute to the 90 minute, one hour, buy my stuff, pitch-a-thon, that's really not how our webinars work. We use a formula called a free form webinar. What that means is we have, uh, the webinar has three basic phases. Your first phase is foundation phase. This is where we come on, we make sure that you're in the right place, we teach you the exact hardcore basic techniques and principles that you need to be able to use to go out into the world immediately. It's hardcore, real world proven, solid, actionable stuff that you can take out into the world tonight and start testing it. You don't have to believe anything we're gonna teach you on this webinar. All you gotta do is have a fun, playful attitude and apply the skills and you'll be amazed at how rapidly people respond to you in a much more powerful, positive, and useful way. The second thing is, uh, in phase two of that webinar, we're gonna talk about special opportunities we put together for you to take your training further, right? That's part of, that's phase two. Phase three, we're gonna, we're gonna circle back. We call this the advanced learning and training stage. This is where we take the foundations that we taught you in phase one, and we build on that. We give you even more techniques, more extensions, more progressions, more things that you can do with the material that you've learned in part one, but we also take that material and we customize it for the exact applications that you as a group, as a cohort of people interested in learning how to solve the problems in your life and hear yes a whole lot more, have. Now, obviously, we, we can never talk, we can't cover every single person's uh, desires, but what we will do is we'll go with the majority. And the, based on what I see that most of you want and need, that becomes the, the content for part three of that webinar. That's where we customize the webinar to exactly the applications that you want to know most about, that you, the problem points that you want to solve so you can go out into the world and actually get what you want. 
Okay, so that's what our, 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 our three phase free form webinar is about. It's all about hardcore, solid, actionable content. Circling back, like I said, this is not going to be a 90 minute webinar. This is more like a two or three hour webinar. Okay, we're, we're heavy on content, heavy on interaction and participation. And if you, because my goal here is to give you an experience. If I give you the experience, it's going to change your life, whether you do anything else in this program. But follow my instructions. If you take this stuff out into the world, it's going to change your life. So a couple of things. A, you're obviously going to have questions. I'm going to tell you, I'm going to teach you three ways to get your questions answered when we log on to the webinar. Um, you're going to want lots of things to write with. You're going to want to be very interactive. You're going to want to make sure you have um, uh, something to write on, and lots of caffeinated dopamine uh, and oxytocin uh, facilitating substances because once again. Um, the more neuroplastic you become, the more rapidly you learn. So my job is to give you a, a solid, hardcore set of experiences that you can take out into the world right away. Uh, I, I will ask for your forgiveness a little bit because I am learning a new platform. It's not exactly, um, I'm, I'm so used to the old one, I may make a few mistakes here and there. I may, I may stumble a few bits. So with your permission and your, your forgiveness, um, I will do the best I can to give you an amazing experience and show you where to go to take your skills to the next level. Does that sound like a uh, something that uh, you, you can you can you can get behind? Let me see who's in my webinar. Nobody yet, but that's all right. All right. So that being said, I'm going to go ahead and uh, do some final prep, and at that point, um, we will officially begin the the webinar uh, for you guys who are not joining us through the Zoom channel. So. Uh, we'll see you in about, oh, four minutes. Talk to you soon. It's a little twitchy. Okay. 
a Siri called Brandon Burr. So, <clears throat> well, folks, <laughs> oh, hold on a second. Oh, hey, folks, this is Dr. David. So the, uh, the first technical glitch has uh, reared its ugly head. So it looks like the only people who are going to be able to see us right now are actually uh, the folks. Let me see. Oh, no, we've got lots of people. Um, real quick, can you guys see me? Really quick, type in the chat. If you can see me, go ahead and type that in for me, please. I'm not, whoa, we're bouncing back and forth here between uh, screen share. Let's go ahead and unshare this just for one. So can you guys see me okay? Yes or yes? Okay. Um, well, the first, the first platform gremlin has reared its ugly head. Hold on a second. I gotta, uh, I'm, I'm trying to get to you. I've got to answer a phone call. Hold on a second because we have technical. Hey Brandon, you're good. I'm good because um, when it says I, when it says go live, uh, it's asking me for. No, 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 don't click go live. You're already live. Oh, I'm already live. Okay. Yeah, there's 45 people in the room. Oh, okay. Um, so I don't have to worry about that at all then. No, nope, you're good. All right, then let's get this show on the road. Cool. Oh. All right. So let me go back to sharing. Hey guys, welcome to Secrets of Human Influence. How to psychological secrets for getting anything you want in the shortest amount of time humanly possible. I'm your host, Dr. David Snyder. Apologize for a little bit of the technical glitches that we had. I'm getting a lot of false flags from the software saying I need things that I don't need. So that being said, if you're brand new to Planet David, then go ahead and uh, in the chat type your name, first time, and where you're checking in from. If you're a Planet David veteran, go ahead and type your name, how long you've been in Planet David, and where you're checking in from as well. And the reason for that is, is uh, when we start to do things here in Planet David, everybody helps each other. That's one of the things I love about our community, is that everybody comes in with a, uh, a serious desire to do the drills and get the skills, and everybody rolls up their sleeves to help each other. We don't care if you have 20 minutes in the influence world or 20 years. All we care about is you have a sincere desire to do the drills and get the skills. Today's training is all about the secrets of psychological um, motivation and influence. How to actually talk to people in such a way that they feel absolutely connected to you. They like, love, and trust you and will actually follow your lead and do the things you want them to do and be grateful to you for giving them the opportunity to do that. So just so I understand you better, uh, let me go to my default view here and see if... Um, I can read some of the some of the messages in the chat. Uh, we are streaming through the OBS uh, software interface, so those of you joining us from YouTube, uh, there is going to be some lag. Uh, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a it's a it's a very different interface than the one we've been doing through Zoom. Uh, we're working out the bugs, but we've gotten to the point where we're where our, our our lists are so big that we have to make a shift. So I hope you'll I beg your indulgence as we go through this material. Uh, I'm not seeing uh, our chat function isn't working so hot in the uh, in the in the actual Jet webinar room, but that's okay. Uh, I do see you guys in our YouTube channel, so I will do my best to uh, interact with you as best I can. This is a very interactive webinar. My job here is to give you some hardcore, solid, uh, transformational skills that you can take out into the world immediately and start putting to work. So. Um, that being said, let's make sure that we're all in the right place. Before I get into that, let me ask you a couple of questions. First and foremost, um, how many of you, um, well, let me do this. Uh, let me just read this to you. I'm going to give you a couple of things I want to talk about. 
And if you can answer yes to any of these questions, you're in the right place. My, dis my, my, my regular disclaimer is, if politically incorrect language, colorful metaphors, swearing or the word boobies offends you, this is probably not the best use of your time. Um, I, my intention is never to offend anyone, but my job is to sometimes provoke people, to get you to think and feel things that maybe you didn't want to think and feel about, because that's the fastest way to getting that stuff resolved in the shortest amount of time possible. So, A, if you are in fact, um, if you are in fact a first timer, first thing you're going to want to do is make sure you have lots of things to write with and to write on. Now, I prefer that you actually have some kind of a pad, not necessarily a, a, a keyboard thing, because some of the power in the exercise comes from the fact that you're actually using your kinesthetics to wire this in. So, are you in the right place? Well, let's see. How many of you, by a show of hands, would like to be super attractive to the opposite sex and maybe make you find them or make them find you charming, irresistible, and fascinating? Would that be some a useful skill to have? How many of you would like to banish fear and insecurity from your life? Maybe move through the world feeling and radiating more comfort and confidence? If that's something you'd like to have more of, go ahead and type that in the chat. If you'd like the skills and the abilities to make more money from your job, from your business, to book more clients, for, uh, or, or, trans, or convert them more, into from prospects to clients long term. If you like to overcome arguments and win and overcome objections, this is something, of course, that you're really going to want to pay a lot of attention to. If you would like to be able to a spot potential bad person people, manipulators, narcissists, sociopaths, people of that ilk who are what I call influence predators, people who use the skills of influence uh, and persuasion in a negative way. To, to, to take things from people and leave them worse off than they found them. This is a webinar you're really going to want to pay attention to. There's some tremendous solid gold nuggets in this, um, in this webinar that if you understand the scope of what you can do with them, you can literally start to write your ticket in this life. They've certainly paved my way to success without ever having to lie, cheat, steal, misrepresent, or any of the things that we think of that we're afraid of becoming when we, when we hear about the, the, the art and science of human influence. Um, if you'd like to program yourself to create massive financial abundance with more than enough money to buy the things that you want and then some, this is a great place for you to be for the next two or three hours. We're going to show you how to literally, in an ethical and honest way, open up the vault to a person's heart and desires. Extract from that exactly what they want and link it to what you want them to do. Now, that's a tremendous power to have, and it's actually quite easy to do. And so I have to, before I go any further with what else we're going to talk about or why, what this can do for you, I want to stress that if you tap into this power, you absolutely have the ability to get people to do things they even said they didn't want to do. That may not be in their own best interest. But I'm here to tell you that if you adopt the right mindset, you'll never have to do that. You'll absolutely be able to decide very, very quickly if you can provide what that person needs the way they need it, and you can show them in a very clear, very direct path how to get everything they want by doing what you want. Now, I mentioned at the beginning of uh, when I was doing my little pregame warm-up that to me, the ability to influence and persuade, to generate trust and compliance and connection in another human being, to me, is the ultimate social survival skill. You know, back in the old days when, when we were hunters and we were, you know, kind of loners in the woods, it didn't really matter if people liked us or not. If we were strong and we were fast and we were agile and we were good hunters, we could just go out, take what we wanted, nobody could do anything about it. But as people started to come together, as they started to work together with one another, and as people realized that some people had an abundance of one thing but a shortage of another, and they started to rely on other people to do things, the ability to get people on your side, the ability to connect with people and get them to want to work with you or collaborate with you became progressively and is still becoming progressively more and more important. And to me now, 
just like being strong and fast and a good hunter was important back in the days when we were just out there slaying mastodons, the ability to get people to want to do what you want them to do and feel good about it, both in, in, within yourself, with integrity, and in the other person, to me, is the fastest way to get from where you are to where you want to be. Unfortunately, most trainings, most school systems don't teach us the actual art of human persuasion. What they teach us is rhetorical persuasion. That's where you bludgeon people over the head with facts and figures and hope out that you can convince them to do what you want them to do. That is the absolute worst way to try to convince a human being of anything. There is a place for that kind of influence, but it's always at the end. Almost always at the end. It's like the cherry on the sundae, or it's how you connect those facts to the feelings that they need to have. We're going to teach you the most direct, most powerful, simple techniques today to reach into a person's neurology, find out what they most want, link it to what you want them to do, and have them literally hanging on your every word, and in many cases, practically begging you to do it. Does that sound like something you guys might be interested in learning? Yes or yes? Go ahead and type it in the chat. Okay. My chat function isn't working so good, so uh, I'm just going to have to take your word for it. Anyway, um, so let's go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and share my screen because I want to go through some of my PowerPoint for you. I don't like PowerPoint as a rule. Uh, I'm a firm believer in avoiding death by PowerPoint, but I do want to kind of cover some basics, for, especially for those of you who don't know who the hell this guy is uh, in the vest talking to you. So um, before I get into that, though, I want to talk about my commitments to you, and that is this. If this is the scope of everything there is to learn in the art and science of human persuasion, human influence, we've got time for this. So my commitment to you as your teacher, especially if this is your first time with me, and, by, and I apologize again for the, the technical glitches and the things that I promise you they'll get smoother as time goes on. If this is the scope of everything there is to learn, we've got time for this. So my commitment over the next two to three hours is to take you as far down that rabbit hole as I can. To show you step by step the easiest, most powerful, most irresistible ways to influence a human being. And then... I will show you how to make it even more powerful, how to take it even further. Does that sound like a plan? Does that sound fair? If you think that's fair, go ahead and type that in the chat form. Okay. And good. All right, so let's go back to my PowerPoint uh, really quick, my presentation, and we'll get into this. So a question that people often ask is who the heck is Dr. David Snyder and why should I care? Well, first and foremost, I am in fact an actual doctor of acupuncture and oriental medicine. Right? Uh, I've been have, I have a practice in Solana Beach, California, where uh, I've been teaching and, and uh, treating physiological illness that is caused by repressed emotion for the last 15 years. And that has given me the ability and the opportunity to really uh, delve into the hearts and minds of people out there and figure out how they work and how the human beings can actually use and reprogram their subconscious mind for enhanced health, um, wellness, and all kinds of stuff. I apologize because for some reason, um, my PowerPoint keeps popping out. But anyway, that's a copy of my actual doctorate. The techniques that we're going to be showing you over the next couple of hours are derived from, um, hold on a second. There we go are derived from uh, my course, Killer Influence. So what you're seeing here is uh, an ad from globalgurus.org. It says, uh, hold on a second, where I was named the number one NLP trainer of the year for 2020. I've been in the top two slots in that position with globalgurus.org uh, since about, for the last three or four or five years. So it's been an exciting ride. This is a letter I got from Global Gurus, and it says, it is with great pleasure to announce that your training program, Killer Influence, has been chosen by global peers and ranked as the number one best program in the world for neuro-linguistic programming. And if you click that little link, it takes you to this page. And what you'll see here is uh, Killer Influence, which is where the techniques you're gonna be learning are, are, can be found, is the number one slot. And I didn't even know that I was, there was a competition for this. 
Uh, this says 2020, but I also have one for 2022 for uh, my Defense Against the Dark Arts program, which is an extension of the killer influence. So for, so for the last three or four years, our program on covert influence has been the number one ranked NLP training program in the year, which I think is cool for the, for the simple fact that I never promoted killer influence as an NLP course. So it's really interesting to see how that has allowed us to actually become the number one NLP course in the world. So I also have a 10th uh, degree black belt in the martial arts. I have a 4th degree black belt in Shaolin Kung Tao, 2nd degree black belt in Kosho Kempo, and a 1st degree black belt in Fankuru Jiu Jitsu. In addition to that, I am a certified instructor in combat system, Senko Mano Screma and Modern Arnis. And as you can see from the bottom here, I have, uh, I have more energy healing credentials than McDonald's sells hamburgers, and I'm even adding more to the list. Now what's interesting is when you look at all this stuff, the, the oriental medicine, and the, the human influence, which is obvious, but the martial arts and the energy work and all this stuff, people often ask, what the heck does all, you know, what do these things have in common? And that's pattern recognition. But what all these things actually have to do with the art and science of human influence? And the truth is pretty much everything. You see, everything human beings do, let me go to this, everything, oops, everything human beings do has a structure to it. Everything human beings do has a pattern. There's a structure to how we perceive the world. There is a structure to how we create our thoughts about the world. There is a structure to everything we do. And when you can start to perceive those patterns, then you have the ability to actually influence those patterns. Human behavior starts to become extremely predictable, extremely reliable, and you, it becomes very, very useful. So when I ask, what does this have, what do all these things have to do with the art and science of human influence? It's basically, a le basically it comes down to everything. It comes down to everything because we have a structure in the way we walk that's mirrored in the way we think, believe it or not. I'm gonna teach you, okay, there is a lot of weird stuff going on here, and I apologize. Um, Can you guys hear me okay? Yes or yes? I'm getting I'm getting notes that my, my platform is muted. Okay. Where are we going with this guys? Come on. Uh, let me go back to gallery view. I see lots of people. All right. All right. Can you guys still hear me okay? Because for some reason, my PowerPoint, my PowerPoint keeps flipping back and forth on its own. I have no idea what's going on with that. So I'm just gonna, I'm, I'm just gonna have to go ahead and unshare. I'm just gonna talk to you like that. Is that okay? If, you, if that's okay, talk to me. All right. I'm just gonna have to read from my PowerPoint, and then we'll have to uh, take it from there. All right. So. Let's get into this and talk about um, what we're gonna what we're gonna learn today. So, if you put up with all of my technical glitches <laughs> and you hang out till the end of today's webinar, here's my personal promise to you: I will teach you in very very clear, very very succinct way the fastest, most powerful, and ethical way to influence anyone to like, love, trust, and obey you. I'm gonna teach you how to have people hanging on your every word how to have them literally salivating to do what you want them to do, how to control your emotions and remove resistance to your influence. And finally, on top of all that, I'm going to teach you the exact steps you need to go from interesting information to maximum transformation in minimum time. Does that sound like a good, a, a good set of, of skills to come away with? What if I told you it was ridiculously simple? How are we going to do that? Well, like I said, if you stay till the end of the webinar, this is what's going to happen. The first thing we're going to talk about is the secret back door to the human nervous system. This is a, a method I learned many, many years ago, and I knew it was powerful, but I really, really did not understand just how simple and powerful and unbeatable this one skill is. It's literally the secret back door to the human nervous system. If you use this technique, and I teach it all the time because it's just, it, it, it needs to be 
our natural way of moving through the world. If you adopt this, this one thing as your, your, your way of relating to people, everywhere you go, you will become the most fascinating conversationalist anybody's ever met. It eliminates the fear of small talk because 80% of what's being said is going to come out of the other person's mouth and they're going to come away from it thinking that you are the greatest, most intelligent person they've ever met. They can't, here's, here's the, the, the ninja part of this. When you use it properly, they literally can't not pay attention to you. And when we're dealing with relationships, like my, uh, my, one, my colleague Chase Hughes likes to say, focus is the currency of influence. And that's true. Attention and focus. When you use this, it will cause people to focus in specifically on the things you are saying and on you. And that gives you massive, massive amounts of leverage in their world. We're going to talk about the secrets of emotional bonding and attraction. So you see, everything human beings do has a structure. If we have a, we, there's a way that you can talk to people that piggybacks on the back door to the human nervous system. That if you understand how to ask a couple simple basic questions and reflect that information back to them in a certain way, human beings will literally ask you to do the things that you want them to do for you. Uh, in fact, it's one of the most powerful ways to make people love you and trust you in a very short amount of time. It's also, when you flip the script on that, one of the most powerful ways to get people out of your life in the shortest amount of time possible. We're going we're to teach you that. We're going to talk a little bit about a concept we teach in Killer Influence known as the four pillars of irresistible hypnotic influence and how that, those things work together to create a very powerful, suggestible mindset. A type of a mindset in a human being where they're more likely to take in the information that you're sharing with them and actually respond to it in a way that, that makes them more compliant to you. Okay? There's four of them. Any one of them by themselves will work powerfully. When you combine them, now you have a very broad way of influencing people. We're not going to spend a lot of time on that because we cover that really, really in depth uh, in the Killer Influence program, but we will teach you what those four pillars are and so you can begin to harness them. Finally, we're going to show you very, very quickly, and again, which ones we emphasize are going to depend very, very, in a great degree on what you tell me you want to focus on in phase three of tonight's webinar. We're going to talk about resistance removal. We're going to talk about how do we actually get people to want to do things that they just told us in no uncertain terms they didn't want to do. Like, um, Maybe somebody you care about is a little overweight, or you want them to quit smoking, and they say, no, I don't want to quit. Or maybe they've got a drug problem, and they don't want to quit. Well, here's a secret. The fastest way to get somebody to do something they just told you they didn't want to do is to have them generate their very own reasons for doing it. And there's a special process, a special conversational framework that we, we em emphasize in Killer Influence and uh, in all of our advanced influence techniques. That, uh, and, we'll, and if you guys want to go through that, if we have time, I'm happy to teach that to you. So, in, in essence, ladies and gentlemen, tonight we're going to talk about how to take control. How to get the life you want the way you want it, mastering yourself inside and out, starting today. So, uh, I'm going to try to share my screen with you really, really quickly, just so I can start to lay the foundation. But before I do that, let me ask you a question. How many of you, by a show of hands, would like to be 20, 25, 30% or more better at everything you do? How many of you would like to experience that? Go ahead and type in the chat, me, if that's you, right? Um, hold on a second. My, my, now my software is messing with me here. I've got to get to my autofocus. That I can fix. There we go. Okay. So, lots of people? Yes? All right. So, here's the secret. Uh, I'm in a moment, not yet, but in just a moment, I'm going to show you a diagram. And as I show you that diagram, it's going to teach you in a visual format a process we call the Universal Persuasion Protocol. There's only six stages to it, right? 
And if you understand it and you master it, you're going to find yourself able to exert influence anytime, anywhere, under any circumstance, for any reason. But I need to kind of preface that a little bit. In the time we have in this webinar, um, I don't have time to teach you every single nuance of that. So I'm going to drill down on a few basic ideas. When you, if, when you step up your training, right, in phase two, I'll show you how to do that. You'll get access to the entire six stages and all the techniques and the, and the flow process that goes with that. But the first thing I want to talk about is this universal persuasion protocol. And one of the very first rings you're going to see, there's two rings I want you to focus on. A, know your outcome. A, you should never, as, an, as a professional influencer, right, and whether you believe you're a professional influencer or not, um, it's impossible for you not to exert influence in any situation or circumstance. The, diff the question is, are you doing it consciously and intentionally, or are you actually doing it random and by default? Right? As, as Jung said, um, people who, ne who don't make their what goes on in their subconscious mind conscious are doomed to have a, lot, a life ruled by fate. I'm mangling that quote horribly, but it's true enough to be true. The techniques I'm going to share with you are all about having more choice, having being able to use these things with precision, with ethics, with deliberation, uh, I just want you to be on the side of the good Jedi, okay? And also how to prepare yourself to recognize when people are using these things unethically. So, first thing, know your outcome. Know what it will. Now, what it, maybe it's to have that person give me their phone number. Maybe it's that person to hire me for the next, or, take, or hire me for the job I'm applying for, or promote me to the next level. Or maybe it's to win a negotiation that I, I'm involved in. Get out of a parking ticket. doesn't really matter, but know what your outcome is and how you're getting it. The next thing is you've got to control your state. And this is where being up to 30% better at everything comes in. There were studies done by the Federal Bureau of Investigation. And what they discovered was that if the hostage negotiator went into that... Now, we all know hostage negotiation is such a fun, playful, um, easygoing profession, right? Nothing at stake there at all. What could possibly go wrong in a hostage negotiation? When the hostage negotiator entered into those... Uh, interactions with the hostage taker, the bad guy, right? Uh, and he was or she was relaxed, casual, easygoing, playful. They were up to 31% more perceptive. Would anybody here like to be more perceptive? 31% more adaptable. 31% more resourceful. In other words, they were more intelligent, more clever, were able to solve problems much more quickly. Would anybody here like to be able to do that? Yes or yes? Right? But not only that, which I, you know, that, that in and of itself is a great thing. But here's the other thing. They also found out that when the hostage negotiator was wrapped in this fun, playful, easygoing energy, their counterpart, the hostage taker, was up to 31% more compliant. Now think about that for a moment. By changing how your you, you, your state, in other words, the body feelings that you have, the, the frame that you have in terms of how you perceive the data going on in the environment, by taking in that fun, playful, easygoing energy, you are able to influence the state of the bad guy and be far more likely to get them to make a decision that wasn't actually in their best interest, which is releasing the hostages or turning themselves in. Would that be useful? Would it be useful to have up to a 30%, 31% bump in your ability to persuade an influence? Yes or yes, as T. Harbecker would say, right? I thought that was pretty, uh, pretty important statistic. Now, I got that from Chris Voss, by the way, who I think I, I tremendously respect in the art and science of hostage negotiation and, and things of that nature. So here's, what, here's the takeaway from this. I want us to begin to explore these topics in a fun, playful, explorational way. And if you do that, then you will discover that not only do these techniques come easier for you, when you go and apply them out in the world, you'll have a lot more fun doing it. You'll be able to, people, it'll just slide under people's radar and people will just start to give you the things that you want. Now, I'm going to give you a very specific process for doing that. Okay, so if you are driving, don't do this exercise. Okay, if you are uh, 
you know, safely tucked at home, there's nothing that you have to pay attention to, then feel free to, to, to do this exercise. If you want to do this exercise and you are operating equipment or machinery or engaged in any activity that requires your full and undivided attention, then you might want to stop that activity, turn it off, put it off to the side, and really focus in on what I'm about to do. So first and foremost, I want all of us to go ahead and stand up. Right? As we stand up, I want you to go ahead and close your eyes, and I want you to remember a time in your life when you were having fun. You were just playful, having a good time, uh, learning cool stuff, right? And I want you to just stop, close your eyes, and remember that moment. And as you do that, I'm wondering, as you do that, when you're in that place, what might you see when you're in that place? What might you hear? What might you smell? What might you taste? Because when you do that, when you're in that place, when you see what you see and you hear what you hear, and you smell and you taste what you smell and you taste, there's an amazing, wonderful feeling that you get. A feeling of just playfulness, a great feeling of exploration. Let's go see what the new cool stuff and see what happens. And I'd like you to notice that there's a place in your body where those amazing feelings start, where they grow, where they spread from. Take a moment, point to where you feel. As you do that, look inside with your inner eyes and notice that there's a color, maybe even a series of colors connected to those amazing feelings. What color of colors might that be for you, first impression? Now, whatever it is, imagine a brilliant ball of that energy floating above your head. Notice how the feelings in your body shift and change with every breath you take and every beat of your heart. That amazing ball of energy begins to grow, begins to expand, begins to fill the entire room from floor to ceiling, from wall to wall, and all points in between. Notice how it wraps itself around you like an amazing blanket of playfulness, exploration. Let's try this and see what happens kind of energy. A cocoon, a shield, a suit of armor, insulating you, protecting you from all downers, all depressions or disappointments, real or imagined, while at the same time flooding your mind, flooding your body, flooding your spirit with everything it most wants, everything it most needs in an infinite, ever-expanding and unlimited supply. And when you know you've got that, go ahead and breathe those colors through your entire being. Let it fill you up like water fills up a bottle, like fluid fills up a test tube, like hot air helium fills up a balloon. Anchor it in so fully so completely no force in the universe. You turn it off or take it away. Not even you. And when you know you've got that, test it. Try to turn it off. Try to take it away. Notice what happens instead. As you do that, when you're satisfied, stop testing. And type in the chat for me, what did you experience? Both when you were going through that process, but also when you tried to turn it off. What did you experience? Go ahead and type it in the chat. I'll wait. And I'm going to try and expand this picture. Hmm. Do this. I'm going to go to full screen here, guys, just to see if that makes... No, nope, that doesn't help me. All right. Hopefully someone in our, in our staff can actually... Uh, type in some of the chats so I can see them. All right. How about our YouTubers? Do you guys have uh, any interesting things happen? Okay, cool. All right. This may be a little bit problematic later when we try to actually answer your questions, but I'll do what I can. Okay, so most of you felt pretty freaking good. Now. Here's a simple idea. Here's the technique that I want you to have for us. Okay? Whenever you want to have a state, and remember, we devote almost an entire day in CPI and Killer Influence to state control. And uh, in our world, state control means the ability to enter or exit any psycho-emotional state at will in any situation or circumstance in any order or sequence. The byproduct of that training is that no one will ever be able to push your emotional buttons 
against your will for very long ever again. Even when you get taken by surprise and things come out of nowhere, you'll be instantly able to step into a resourceful state and deal with whatever's right in front of you. It's, just, it's literally the one superpower that just keeps getting stronger and stronger and stronger as you go through the training. But it's the, it's the most critical one missing from most people's approaches to human influence. See, most people will talk about rapport, right? They'll talk about, got to get rapport. Well, rapport is a state, but the problem is, is if you can't control that rapport, then that rapport controls you. So Central Florida system is saying it's hard to shut off. The door is saying feeling orgasmic. All right. Well, it looks like we're heading in the right direction, doesn't it? So let me, let me just go through the, uh, the universal persuasion protocol for you. I'm just going to go through the stages of it, uh, but I wanted to give you a little bit of a sample platter of the things that we teach you. Right? We divide state control, by the way, into two types, physiological state control and volitional or cognitive state control. So the first and foremost is what do you do with your body and your breathing and your posture? Second is what do you do with your mind? And most people say, well, the mind controls the body. Well, only if you're really trained. Most humans are not trained well enough for that to be a functional aspect of their, their, their life. We're all taught that the mind controls the body, but in application, unless you're a special forces soldier, a Taoist monk or a Buddhist monk or some kind of elite athlete or, or a special forces soldier, the opposite is usually true. And what that means is whatever's going on in your physiology dominates your psychology. Now, just so I, I, uh, I have a better understanding, how many people here have ever heard of something called the reticular activating system? If, if you've heard of it, just type, I've heard of that. If you have not, type that in the chat as well, because the more I know about what you know, the faster I can move through the materials and make sure that you have the foundations that you need to be effective. Go ahead and type that. Okay, good. All right, so let me just do this really quickly. There's a book out there called Emotions Revealed by Dr. Paul Ekman. In that book, he talks about a phenomenon known as the emotional refractory period. What he's referring to it, by another term is known as the reticular activating system or the RAS. Now, the reticular activating system is a part of your brain that decides what's important in your environment. In other words, it decides for you what you're going to pay attention to. And it does that based on the feelings that you have in your body. So if I am feeling really good and I walk into a room where bad stuff happened, so you know, eight, eight out of ten things in that room are bad, right? And two are good. If I go into that room and I'm in a good mood, my brain, my neurology is going to orient me on the good points, the good data points in that room. If I go in there in a bad mood, the first thing my neurology is going to do is it's going to orient my mind to the bad stuff in the room. Why? Because the reticular activating system is the part of your neurology that tries to make what's going on in your external environment match what's going on in your internal environment. It's your neurology's attempt to stay the same. This is why in, in law of attraction and things like that, people are always talking about uh, affirmations and doing vision boards and things like that because the more we see it the more sensitized we get to it and it afflicts it affects not afflicts it affects our reticular activating system so that we start to do things and see things that um, we wouldn't have been able to see any other way um, how many of you consider yourself to be lucky just by show of hands or type me in the chat okay cool all right so here's the thing there was a study done many, many years ago. Uh, I read about it in Psychology Today. And what happened was, uh, the researchers wanted to know, is there such a thing as luck? And if there is such a thing as luck, is it something metaphysical or karmic? Or is it something that the neurology is doing, something the mind is doing that creates luck? So what they did was they spread a really wide net. They bring around hundreds and thousands of people. And what they did was they rented a restaurant. And what they did with the restaurant was they, they hired actors to go in and play patrons. And they set the, 
the test subjects up into three basic groups. People who classified themselves as average, people who classified themselves as naturally lucky, and people who classified themselves as unlucky. And they sent each group in individually. What they, the, the people who they were sending in didn't know was on the floor was a 20 pound note. This was done, this, I think this study was done in England. And what they wanted, what researchers want to know is how fast or not did the people coming in spot the 20 pound note? And so the average people went in first, and as you can probably intuit, about 50% of the time they saw it, about 50% of the time, give or take, they missed it. Okay. Then they sent in all the lucky people. Pretty much 100% of the people who walked into the restaurant in seconds saw the 20 pound note, picked it up, and had a great time. As far as we know, the unlucky people are still looking for the restaurant. Okay. <laughs> so this idea of what we hold in our minds, of, of our self-concept, and, and from that, from the study, okay, we're talking, we're, we're talking about this study in context of the reticular activating system and why it's so important. But the reticular activating system is primarily focused on making your internal reality and your external reality the same. So if I can change your internal reality, then I can change your perception, your consciousness of external reality. You guys see how that might be useful? If we could actually change a person's perceptions so that everything that they perceive is in alignment with what we're presenting, what we want them to do, 80% of our persuasion or influence could be done before we've even opened our mouth. Right? That's what our state control training is designed to do. You see, the fastest way to change another person's body feelings, which is what goes right to the reticular activating system, is to change yours first. Once you can do that, man, if you can enter a state and emanate it out, their mirror neurons pick it up, it goes right to their, their, their reticular, their proprioceptive system and their interoceptive nervous system reflects the data generates a similar body feeling, it goes to the reticular activating system, their perceptual filter shift, boom. All of a sudden, they are primed and predisposed to doing the thing you want them to do for their own reasons, right? That's where you start in the CPI killer influence system, right? But we're not even done. That's just preliminary stuff. Now we're going to add things to that. But do you see how this might be useful and why I'm teaching it to you? or teaching you about it. I can't go, I can't teach you every single exercise, but I wanted to give you that feeling of playfulness because if you wrap everything I'm going to teach you in that, these techniques will work over and over and over again for you. Is that useful? Type it in the chat if you think it's useful. Okay. Perfect. All right. Um, let me see where I'm going now. Okay. Let me go ahead and share my screen. Oops, I'm gonna close my PowerPoint, have to do this again. Okay, so what we're showing you here is known as the Universal Persuasion Protocol. And what we're gonna look at first is, again, I said you gotta know your outcome, you gotta know what you want and how you're getting it. Then you gotta control your state. Then you've gotta get rapport, use your language, manage your state, jump into their process, and link to their criteria and values. Hold on a second, I'm getting a, an emergency phone call here. Hello? Hey, what's up? switch to gallery view. Switch to gallery view? Yeah, then it stops doing that. Okay, uh, we'll try that. Cool. All right, thanks. All right, so let's see if this works for us. Um, there we go. All right, so, all right. So you guys can see that okay, right? Okay, so if you write this down, if you, had, if you have a notebook paper, this would be the exact protocol you wanna use whenever you wanna influence a human being in any situation or circumstance. The Universal Persuasion Protocol is designed to give you a roadmap to follow, whether you're in the classroom, the seminar room, the treatment room, the boardroom, the bedroom, does not matter. If human neurology and human communication and language is involved, 
This is the process you follow. Know your outcome. Control your state. Get rapport. Use your language. Manage the state of the subject. Jump into their process. Link to their criterion values. Now, the criterion values in our system, we call the emotional bonding or the emotional motivation checklist. In a moment, not yet, but in just a moment, I am going to give you a profound experience of the emotional motivation checklist. And if you understand this, you can motivate yourself to do anything you want. And if you use it with your potential spouses, partners, clients, customers, students, they will become highly, highly motivated and desirous of doing the things you want them to do. It's extraordinarily powerful. Uh, and it's really, really simple to do uh, as long as you don't overthink it and you can stay on track. But this is something I want, this is the kind of the big picture stuff that I wanted uh, to share with you. So, that being said, let's talk about the secret passcode to the human nervous system. And that secret passcode we call the echo technique. So let me share this with you really quick. In fact, um, I'm gonna actually turn off, I don't know if I can turn my camera off. Uh, we'll just share it, we'll see what happens. All right. Okay, so this next piece is where you want to start taking some notes. What if you had the ability to literally force people to pay attention to exactly what you say, uh, to the, to the uh, ignor ignoring, ignoring everything else? Would that be useful? Here's how it starts. The most powerful words any human being can hear, bar none, even on top of their name, the most powerful words any human being can hear are the ones that just came out of their mouth. Okay? And so, when I, back when I started my karate school um, in the early 90s in Coral Springs, Florida, this technique helped me put eight to, ten, eight to nine out of ten people who came to my, for my uh, enrollment or for my uh, introductory classes into, uh, into my class. This is the one I spend the most time teaching. Uh, and as you go deeper and deeper into the subjects and the, and the techniques at Planet David, this technique becomes progressively more important and progressively more powerful because it allows you to do everything else better. This is why I teach it first. Um, because literally, uh, if you had nothing, no other language skills but this, people would automatically find you charming and irresistible. Um, it's a very bizarre thing. But, and you don't have to believe it, you just got to do it. That's what I love so much about the techniques is we, you don't need a person to believe in it. You don't need to believe in it for it to work. You just got to do it. We've distilled these things down to mechanics, things that you can just start doing that create the biggest bang for your buck. So what happens when you use the echo technique? First and foremost, it's the most powerful way for one human being to communicate with another human being, period. And I, I, I challenge anybody out there to come up with a, a single technique that has the same amount of gravity and power over the nervous system as this. Maybe, maybe the emotional bonding checklist, but 90% of the emotional bonding checklist are the words that just came out of their mouth, which is exactly the echo technique. This technique literally forces a person to, a person's neurology, to pay attention to you. Okay? Um, to the exclusion of everything else. Now, how many of you, by a show of hands, have ever been at a party? Maybe it's really loud, lots going on, you're across the room, and you hear your name mentioned from somebody all the way on the other side of the room. Anybody ever have that experience? Right? Why? Why does that happen? It's because your neurology is selfish. Your neurology is literally moving through the world, searching for anything that is a, a key to lock fit to the, the map of the universe that you've created, okay? Um, I'm, I'll, I'll tell you the story now, all right? I was, uh, about 2012, I was hired by a company in Israel to go and do some personal intercommunication training um, within their company. I was hired to work with the VIPs. I was hired to work with the, um, the marketing department. And I was hired to work with the R&D people. It turns out that there was a massive, massive level of miscommunication and lack of rapport between the marketing division and the customer service people and the R&D people.
for the R&D people, they would, the, the customer service people, the marketing people would call up the R&D people and ask them, hey, we have this problem, customers know how to do this. They're, and the R&D's version of customer service was, raise the manual, right? Massive, massive level of, of, of uh, low rapport. And so one of the things that I wanted to teach them was this echo technique, right? And the reason I wanted to teach them test technique, and let me go through these bullets really quick so you understand, is because A, it eliminates the problem of making small talk and boring conversations. But not only that, it sends powerful, powerful messages of sameness, understanding, and validation to the person you're echoing. In other words, when you echo a person's words back congruently and sincerely, and I'll, I'll get to that part in a minute, because every now and then I get somebody who says, well, it just sounds weird to do that. It feels weird to do it because it's not your, your normal way of communicating. Right? And if you look at echo technique as a trick to play on somebody, it'll still work a lot of times, but you'll feel icky doing it. And that icky feeling will be reflected in the other person's mirror neurons, and they'll start to feel icky, and then they'll start to analyze what they're saying more, more closely. We'll cover that. We'll cover how to, how to bulletproof that in just a minute. But this is the important piece. When you echo somebody's words back to them from a sincere desire to understand and communicate better, one of the things that happens is everything in that person's nervous system orients on you. Because everything that just came out of your mouth is a perfect key to lock fit to every thought they're having. Every filter, every neurological filter from their most primal, basic white versus, you know, color versus audio filters, all the way up to the words that come out of their mouth, matches perfectly. And because of that, they automatically feel, first of all, they orient and focus on you, which is perfect. Then they feel heard and understood and, believe it or not, validated by what you said. In other words, the moment you give somebody their very own words back, they feel a connection to you that nobody else has been able to give them in, in seconds. And, and it, it grabs them like glue. Okay? So this was something that I wanted to really, really share uh, with the R&D people and with, the, with all these different divisions of this company. Now, why did I want to do that? It's because they needed to be on the same page. They needed to want to help each other. Right? And one of the things that happens is when you bond with somebody like that, their biggest fear is losing the connection they're feeling with you. And, here's, and, and so what I'm saying is this causes them to become progressively more connected and attracted and positively disposed towards you. The longer you do it, the deeper they go. And they've never felt that like that that quickly. And they want to hold on to it. Okay. So I'm, I'm there and I'm explaining this to the uh, R&D people. And there's this one guy in the front row. And as I'm talking, and I'm talking about this echo technique, he's just there like this. And you know, you know sometimes you're sitting in a room and somebody farts really badly and you, just, you know, you're, you're, trying to, you're trying to ignore it, but you know, your, your face is kind of crinkling up like you smell something bad, right? That was this guy. And I'm talking about the echo technique and I'm telling him a lot of the things I'm teaching you right now. And, and finally, he just can't take it anymore. He looks at me, he stands up, he goes, I don't believe it. And I looked at him and I was like, in my head I'm going, moment of truth, David. This shit either works or it doesn't. And I'm like, okay. So I said, well, you don't believe it? He goes, no, I don't believe it. Well, no, why, why specifically don't you believe it? And he starts going off on all the reasons why he doesn't believe it. And all I did for the next five or six minutes was echo his words back to them, back to him. And he's talking and he's going on and on because that's one of the side effects of doing the echo technique. They keep talking. And the best part is, you don't have to. The longer they talk, the more connected to you they're becoming. So let them talk when they want to talk. After, and, and what's going on is his friends beside him are looking at him like, don't you hear what's happening? And he's like, and, and I let him talk. I let him talk and I let him talk for about five or six minutes. And then in the, in the humblest, most um, sincere way I could, I looked at him and I said, Sir, are you realizing that for the past five, six, seven minutes, all I've been doing is giving you back your very own words? And he looked at me like I was crazy. And he looked to his friend to his right, and his friend goes, and he looked at his friend to his left, and his friend goes, 
And he looked at me, and I don't know if you've ever seen the old Yosemite Sam cartoons where the guy eats too much hot sauce or his temper just goes through the roof and you see the red rising like a thermometer and it reaches like his face and all of a sudden, boom, steam comes out of his ears. That was this guy. Right? He gets beat red. And he's like, he wants to say something and then he just, he just gets this defeated look on his face. And he goes, are we really so stupid? And I looked at him. And I said, sir, you're not stupid. You're selfish. And that's every human being on the planet. Whether you think they're narcissistic or not narcissistic, whether you think you're, they're humble or arrogant, every nervous system on the planet is moving through the world, searching for itself. And when you echo and reflect back the aspects of that person that they're projecting out into the world, they pay attention to you over everything else. And that is power. And the longer they talk, the deeper into connection they go. Okay? So this makes your listener feel heard, understood, accepted, and validated. And that raises your social status in their world. It causes them to really feel like if they lost that connection with you, they would, they would be diminished in some way. It's super powerful and it's super easy. So when I, when I was teaching, uh, when I was running my martial arts school in Coral Springs, Florida, I would often tell people, uh, I'll, I'll just role play it for you. So, you say, so this side will be the customer, this side will be me. So ring, ring, good afternoon, Coral Springs Martial Arts Academy. This is David, how can I help you? Oh, hi David, my name's Bernice, and uh, I'm looking, I'm interested in maybe getting uh, karate lessons for my 10-year-old son, Josh. Oh, hey Bernice, how, good, good to hear from you. So you're interested in maybe getting karate lessons for your 10-year-old son, Josh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, tell me a little bit more about Josh, Bernice. What is it, what's important to you about, about ten, uh, karate lessons for your 10-year-old son, Josh? Well, you know, Josh is a great kid. I love him to death. And um, he's really, really smart uh, for his age. He's so smart, in fact, that his teachers have moved him up a grade. And he's a little small for his age. And so I, I'm worried a little bit that he's going to be surrounded by all these older kids and um, that they might pick on him. And I want him to kind of be able to defend himself. But I also heard that martial arts was a great way to develop confidence and focus and concentration. Uh, and I thought it might be good for him overall to just, to just be able to, to develop that in himself. Oh, I see, Bernice. So Josh, as you said, is a great kid. He's really smart. In fact, he's so smart that his teachers moved him up a grade. And you're worried because, you know, he's going to be around bigger kids. And you heard that you're afraid the kids might pick on him a little bit. And you heard that martial arts was a great way to develop focus and concentration and you'd like him then to develop those within himself. Is that right? Yeah, absolutely, David. Can you, you think you can help me? Absolutely, Bernice. I absolutely think we can help you. You see, for, for, for decades and centuries, in fact, martial arts has been one of the absolute best ways for small children, like Josh, to uh, defend themselves against bullies, to develop their confidence and their focus that allows them to be successful in life, and to really feel good and have the ability to protect themselves and going forward. So I think you have absolutely made a perfect decision about where you want to go and, and take Josh to get those skills. So just so I understand you better, um, how soon did you want to get started on that? Well, I, I'd like to make a decision as quickly as possible. Uh, what, what are my options? Well, I'm glad our, your options are very, very simple, Bernice. All you need to do is we have uh, two slots available right now. We have a slot today uh, at 5.30 p.m. Uh, and that cut, uh, includes two group lessons and one private lesson. Uh, and then he'll have a buddy that will, you know, kind of train beside him and kind of guide him through these processes. And uh, comes with a free uniform. We also have uh, the same thing tomorrow at 6 p.m. Which do you think would be better for you? You know, um, I think tomorrow at 6 p.m. would be best because that way uh, he can have his dinner. I can make sure his homework is done and uh, his head will be kind of clear and focused and he'll probably want something to, some kind of, physical activity. Okay, so you want to do it tomorrow at 6 p.m. because his, you know, his, his stuff will be done and his homework will be done. I'll have a clear head and I'll have a little bit more physical activity. Perfect. I'm going to pencil you guys in for tomorrow at 6 p.m. and I will see you and Josh tomorrow with bells on. You have a great day. Thanks, David. Talk to you soon. Click. Eight, nine out of ten of them would show up for that lesson. Right? Now, as you listen to what I said, how much 
of what I, as the uh, business person, was saying was original versus what came out of Bernice's mouth. What did you notice about that? Okay. Yeah, are we, so Jay Sanchez is saying, I love it. Are we really that stupid? No, we're not stupid. And that's the thing. We're just selfish. And, and the, the sooner, and when I say we're selfish, I don't mean that in a negative way. It's just how we are. Remember, you have three brains. You have a paleocortex, your reptile brain. Then you have your limbic system, which is your, your mammal brain. Think of it like a, a dog or a golden retriever brain. right? And then you have your neocortex, literally the new layer. We call that your rational lying brain. The, the, the neocortex is the part that thinks in facts and figures, but it's the weakest part of you. And its job isn't actually to pay attention to the facts in terms of truth. Its job is to pay attention to the facts to create a, na a, a narrative, a rationalization, if you will, to justify you acting on the body feelings that you have. That's what we like to call it the rational lying brain, because it doesn't really tell you the truth. It tells you a story. And the story it tells is largely created based on the body feelings that you have. And if you have those body feelings properly primed, then the narrative they create in their mind will be very conducive to what you want them to do. And the way to begin that process is to control your state, use your, get rapport, and use your language. The technique that links all the different levels of the Universal Persuasion Protocol is the echo technique. It allows you to transition seamlessly through every single layer of the Universal Persuasion Protocol. Are you with me so far? Yes or yes? If you've got it, go ahead and type that in the chat for me. Good. Okay. All right. You guys ready for more? Is this useful? All right. Let me go back to um, my one note. All right. So... Match, it matches every internal feeling. So if, if we were going to train you on this, we would teach you something we call the master echo sequence. Now, this is a bonus I'm going to give you guys. Okay, This is the formula that you follow when you're out in the real world and you want to utilize the echo technique for advanced applications. You first ask a question. You pay attention to their responses. You validate the response. You echo their words. You ask again. So, what does that sound like? Let's say, for example, that I'm... Um, well, let's go back to our, 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 our example with Bernice, right? So, Bernice is saying, uh, I, want point to, uh, I want karate lessons for my 10-year-old son, Josh. Oh! So, you, you want ten, you want to... So, I think that's great that you want, to let, you want to get karate lessons for your 10-year-old son, Josh. But just so I understand you better, what's important to you? about karate lessons for your 10-year-old son, Josh. Well, you know, David, I think that, um, I think martial arts is a, is a good way for him to develop confidence and uh, the ability to protect himself and to really focus and do well in school. Oh, I see. So you feel that, that martial arts would be a great way for Josh to develop the ability to focus, protect himself, um, and, and do well for himself in school. Is that right? Yes. So all I did there with this, you know, as close as I can, is I asked the question, what's important? I listened. I paid attention to what Bernice said. I validated her response. What does that actually mean? It means I signal that I uh, understand, I have heard, and I accept what she said. If it's something I can wholeheartedly agree with, I signal that. Oh, I think that's great. And then I echo their words, and I ask another question. And I can just cycle through that, for that formula through the entire conversation, and they will think I am the most fascinating person since sliced bread. They will feel a deep, deep, deep neurological, emotional connection to me that will allow me to guide them where I need them to go. Okay? Now, thinking about it like that, people often say, well, isn't that manipulative, or, or why, um, why, why would we do something like that? Let me flip the script on you a little bit. Let's say for a moment that you had a secret, a secret tool, a secret method. Let's say you were given a secret that, the, the, that you had in your, in your back pocket 
the one thing that would allow any human being that you meet to feel instantly heard, understood, connected, to having them in their own mind and body, all of the feelings they always wanted to have whenever they communicated with another human being. And you chose not to use it. If you had the ability to do that, I mean, you had the skill, you, you knew exactly how to communicate with any human being you wanted and make them feel that way. And you didn't use it. Who's the jerk now? Because that's exactly what you've got right here, right now. When you adopt the echo technique as your default way of moving through the world and interacting with people, they will open up like a flower. They will, they will like, like a book opens to reveal its secrets. They will confide in you. They will trust you. They will like you. They will orient on you. They will do all of these things that make everything you want come into your life easier. And the best part is, they'll feel good doing it. Right? But that's where we start. What if we could take this a little bit further? Right? What if we could actually look into that heart that's just opened up to us and find out exactly what would make them feel the most fulfilled they've ever been. What if we could do that in any context we wanted, from buying a house, to going out on a date, to um, selecting a partner, to winning a negotiation? What if, you, what if there was a way to absolutely lock in their hearts, minds, and souls and bond, so that they look at whatever you're offering them as the exact way to get everything that they want. Would that be useful? If you think that's useful, type that in the chat. Okay. Now, we're going to have another experience together. This is called the Emotional Bonding Checklist. Once we've done this drill, I'm going to show you how to level this up. I'm going to show you how to take all of your training and all of your drills even further. Okay? But I want you to have this experience, A, from a personal level. In other words, I want you to use this process on yourself so you feel what it's like and realize that when you apply this with another human being, this is the level of drive and desire, the, the minimum level of desire and drive that they're going to feel when you do this with them. Does that make sense? Okay. So let's go ahead and uh, let me share my screen again. And what we're going to do is we're going to look at the emotional motivation checklist. So for this drill, you are going to need a paper and a pencil. Okay? So the first thing I want you to do is I want you to actually stop for a moment. And again, if you're driving, don't do this. Right? If you're operating machinery, don't do this. But if you want to actually feel this for yourself and understand it, then this is where we're at. So I want you to close your eyes. And I want you to think about your, what you were feeling when you decided to be on this webinar tonight. When you decided that you were going to attend this webinar and follow the instructions and obey the commands and do the things I want you to do, there was something that you wanted to get from this. There was a, um, a takeaway, something you wanted to be able to do. And something that that thing was going to be able to do for you. I want you to think about for a moment what the, you want the techniques in this seminar and beyond that you're learning, what do you want that to do for you? And I want you to physically write that out on a piece of notebook paper in front of you. What do, I, what, what do you want to be able to do as a result of this seminar? And below that, what's that going to do for you? Just take a moment, write that out, type done in the chat when you've done it. Okay? And then what we're going to do is we're going to follow this template that you see um, it should be, to, I think it's to your left. I could be wrong. Hmm. Oh, that's right. I still got to get used to this new interface because um, every time I think I'm using my OneNote, I'm not. Okay. Okay. Let me make this a little bit bigger so people can see it. Okay. What's it going to do for you? Now, you notice that under this section it says, what do you want? What's it going to do for you? Right below that is the question, 
What's important to you about getting it? In other words, when you get the ability to do this thing, what's, what's important about it? Whatever comes up, write down your first, your first impression. So this might be, okay, what do you want to do for the summer? I want to have techniques to influence and persuade humans. What's that going to do for me? It's going to allow me to find the love of my life, to make more money in my business, to have more fun and security uh, with my family, and get all the things I want. Excellent. And if you could get all the things that you wanted in your life, you have that security. What's important to you about getting that? What's important to you about getting that? Write that answer to that question. Okay? Use the exact words. Okay, this is an extension of your echo technique. Webinar's frozen and showing the JET webinar page. Um, okay. Hopefully it's just a glitch. Okay, good. All right. Now, once you've done that, go ahead and answer the next question. What's important about that? Right? So just drill down. You know, you got the B, what's important about getting it? Use the exact words. What's important about that? And then ultimately, let's we'll make this D. So it makes more sense. So you should drill down about three layers to this. Okay, what's important about, what's important about, what's important about. When you have that, go ahead and type in the chat that you're done. And we'll look at uh, what to do next. Still frozen? All right. Nathan said, yeah, David is using a new platform combined with open broadcasting software, so it's very laggy, but we can still hear him though. Thank you, The Door. All right, so if you've got all that, here's what I want you to do next. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go through this with you. I want you to take your piece of paper. I want you to hold it up at about a 45 degree angle. Okay. Okay, we're having, apparently OBS is locking up on us. So I'm not sure how I'm going to fix that. <laughs> um, I apologize. My, yeah, my, uh, my, my web people are telling me that uh, we're having some issues. Let me see what I can do with this. Can you guys hear me okay, though? Is the audio okay? Okay, very good. It's okay. So, okay. All right, so... For those of you who have it, so I want you to take your, your sheets. If you can see me, great. If not, we'll, we'll do something. We'll probably have a... I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll do an encore um, broadcast to make sure that you know, everybody gets the, the quality of, of, of the work that we want and stuff like that. So what, for whatever reason, um, if you stay on to the end, uh, I'll, I'll add a few extra bonuses in there for those of you who stuck it out. Um, we'll probably do a replay on this. So take your sheet. And what I want you to do now is I want you to just read the answers to your questions. I want you to read them three to five times out loud. And I want you to just think, I will have X, Y, Z. I'll be able to do X, Y, Z. I just want you to read them out loud three times, or five times, I'm sorry. Read them out loud five times. And when, you're, when you've done that, type down in the chat. I'm going to do something a little weird here, guys. Um, let me 
me see if I can pull this off. All right, if you guys can just bear with me for like two minutes, I'm gonna try something. Uh, and if it works, then it should it should smooth out the YouTube stuff. If not, um, we'll find another way to do this. Hold on. sure if this is going to work. Um, in fact, I'm pretty sure it's, n it's not. I was going to try and just clear out of OBS and uh, see if I could just do the PowerPoint on full screen, but I'm not sure how that's going to, how that would work. I have one other weird Worst that can happen is nothing. Let's see what happens when I do this. This might overload my system. So if, it, if my system suddenly crashes, you'll know what happened. and share screen. Let's, uh, I don't know if this will work, guys, but I'm going to give it a shot. I don't think this is going to work. But, um, no, I don't, I don't think it's going to I think I'm going to screw this up. I think this is going to work. All right. All right. I apologize for. Oops. Hold on. My t my tech support guys are calling me. So. Yeah. No, no, I was going to try and do a workaround through Zoom, but I, I don't think that's going to work. Not the yeah. way I attended it, so. Yeah, I don't think so. so. All right, well, we're just going to have to do we'll do the best we can. That's all. Yeah. All right. Yeah, all right. So anyway, we're back, and uh, my attempt to fix it did not work. But uh, for those of you sticking with us, uh, thank you for, for your patience. Like I said, every time we do a new platform, there's always a break-in period. So... You know, I'm, I'm, I've never been a big fan of OBS anyway, but 
we exceeded the, you know, we had like 42,000 subscribers for the, the webinar, so um, Zoom couldn't handle that without pinging us. So let's go back to, for those of you who can hear us and want to continue to play, then that's fine. For those of you who don't, um, that's okay. So here's where we're going next. So one of the things I want to talk about is when you read your, your um, when you read out your, your list, what's important. What did you feel? What happened in your mind and your body when you felt when you when you went there? Those of you on YouTube, you can hear me. Go ahead and type in what you felt. My guess is, aside from the frustration you were getting from me regarding our tech stuff, that when you actually read those words out loud, there was a profound body feeling, a profound set of emotions came up. True or not true? True or not true? Okay. Um, we'll see what that's about. All right, so let's go ahead and talk about how to level this up. If you could do this with everyone you meet, what would that do for you, right? So with your permission, uh, I'd like to talk to you about a set of uh, programs I've put together that allow that build on the things that we've just done and allow you to take it to a whole new level. Okay, so I'd like to talk to you about the Secrets of Human Influence Ultra Persuasion Mastery Home Study Course. Now, this is a course that is designed to teach you the entire Universal Persuasion Protocol and teach you how to exert influence anytime, anywhere, under any circumstance for any reason. Right, and so, with your permission, I'd like to I'd like to talk to you about this. Now, the Secrets of Human Influence program is, is all about helping you take your life to the next level. I said at the beginning of our, our training today that in a, in a social world, a place where human beings have to learn to like, love, and trust each other, to get along, to cooperate, the ability to get people to want to do what you want them to do is the ultimate survival skill. And so this program is all about doing exactly that. That'll allow you to make more money. It'll allow you to close more business deals. It'll allow you to get more dates. It'll allow you to move through the world with your personal mission helping other people. Can you think of any place involving helping others that influence is not involved? Right? If you if you said yes, you haven't really thought about it too well, right? It's about moving through the world with more confidence and the ability to actually make a difference in this world and ultimately to feel more powerful, able to win the game of life. So if you want to become more charming, charismatic, and irresistible, this is something I really, really uh, encourage you to pay attention to and jump on uh, if the opportunity presents itself to you. So here's what I've put together for you. And this offer is good for November 30th, 2022 until 11.59 p.m. tonight. Okay, it's the Secrets of You and Influence Ultimate Persuasion Protocol Home Study Course. This is a course that's going to allow you uh, to think like a master of influence. And masters of influence have a different cognition. They have a different way of moving through the world. They're very outcome driven, right? We're going to teach you that psychology so that you can apply it to yourself and to the specific situations where you need to win, right? And you want everybody to come out feeling like a winner. Sometimes you can't, but most of the times you can't. We're going to show you exactly how to make that happen and how and the thought processes that go into that. That's a $297 value. We're going to teach you how to control your own psycho-emotional states so that you can literally go into or out of any psycho-emotional state or any sequence of emotional states at will. And the byproduct of this training is that no one you meet will ever be able to push your buttons for any length of time ever again. That doesn't mean that people won't take you by surprise. What it does mean is that you'll be able to exert a profound level of control over your own emotional state, your own reticular activating system. And when people take you off guard or catch you by surprise, you'll be able to instantly bounce back, take on the exact resourceful states you need, and it emanate them into the world and into the room and into the people so that you can get the outcomes that you need and protect yourself from 
uh, what I would consider negative or deceitful manipulations. It's a $297 value. We will show you step by step how this works. From there, we're going to bridge you into what we call power rapport skills. One of the things that separates the killer influence and CPI systems from all the other systems out there is that we actually teach rapport in three different levels. Okay? There is what we call classical rapport, which is something you learn in an NLP class. Then we have what we call kinesthetic rapport, which is a, a function of your cardiac nervous system and your mirror neuron systems. If you've ever studied any of the heartmath.org materials, there's a, there's a level of neurology where heartbeat synchronize, breathing rate synchronizes, and thought processes start to synchronize. Right? And then finally we talk about vibing. Now vibing is kind of like the top secret type of rapport. What this does is it's, it's, for, it's specifically for people who want to be more effective in becoming attractive to other people. One of the things that you need to understand about classical rapport as it's taught to most people is that it'll get you in the friend zone. And, and if being a friend or being you know somebody that somebody feels comfortable around is as far as you want to go, well that's fine. But if you have romantic inclinations towards another human being, if you want somebody to view you as sexually romantically attractive, then you need to add other things. And that's where the vibing rapport system comes in. There are certain aspects you need to have in addition to classical rapport and kinesthetic rapport that allows you to stimulate attraction in other people. Nobody else teaches this, right? That's part of our power rapport training. We're going to show you step by step how all of these things work and how you can do them very, very quickly and very, very easily to attract the people you want and repel the people you don't. Okay, anytime, anywhere, under any circumstances. Okay, it's a $297 value, but you can probably figure out that it's probably worth a bit more than the value we're stating here. Then we're going to teach you the most powerful, irresistible hypnotic language patterns that exist. If you were to take an NLP class, they would present you with anywhere between 30 and 60 different language patterns, and they would have to give you absolutely no clue which ones are the most important ones. But think about this. What if you had the amazing ability to literally force people's minds to pay specific attention to exactly what you wanted them to pay attention to and ignore everything else? What if you could literally take over a person's unconscious processes and actually have their brain doing, running certain programs automatically without any conscious interference? We have one language pattern. The first one we're going to teach you that allows you to do exactly that, anytime, anywhere, under any circumstance. In fact, this language pattern is so powerful, it works even when people know you're doing it. They can't resist it. It's bizarre. But this, again, and we'll show you, we'll actually have you test that in the actual trainings and prove it to yourself. But that's one language pattern. We're going to teach you seven of the most powerful language patterns that exist. You'll know exactly what they do, how they do it, and how to create them on the fly. Pattern number two, what if you could, in fact, make anything you wanted seem to cause anything you wanted in the minds of your subject, even if those things have absolutely nothing in common? What could you do with a superpower like that? That's what pattern number two teaches you how to do. Now, pattern number three, what if you had the ability to make anything you want mean? anything you want in the minds of your listener, even if those two things have nothing in common. So again, control a person's awareness, make anything you want cause anything you want, make anything you want mean anything you want. What could you do with that ability? Because that's what you're getting. Okay? That's only three patterns though. Now combine that with the rapport skills that we're talking about. Combine that with the state control skills that we're talking about. Combine that with the echo technique that we're talking about. What do you think is possible for yourself? Right? Imagine it for a moment. Now take that and now imagine what if you could literally force a person's internal movies, the movies they make in their head, to be exactly what you describe without with 0% chance of failure or mistranslation. What if you, one pattern will let you do that, right? There's seven that we're going to teach you, but this is just the first four, right? 
That's enough. I think I've, I've, I've wetted your whistle enough on that. Those are, and you don't, and believe me, I'm under promoting what I'm talking about here. These things are crazy powerful. You combine that with the echo technique, you get a hole that's greater than the sum of the parts. It's a $297 value. Then we're going to teach you how to manage the emotional states of others. In other words, once you can control your state, once you have your rapport skills, once you have your language down, we're going to show you how to use all of that to manage the emotional states of other people. And that's where the real superpower is. The ability to move people through a series of emotions and facts and data that leads them to conclude what you want them to do from their own perspective and want to do it. We'll show you step by step, clear, simple, easy drills that make it very, very doable. Okay? And then we're going to teach you how to literally step into a person's personal behavior code. Now, what does that actually mean? If you think of, and anybody here know what spark plugs are? Right? Okay. Well, you know you have spark plugs in your car, and if, depending on whether you're a two cylinder, four cylinder, eight cylinder, those spark plugs fire in different sequences, right? Well, your brain is a lot like that too. You have areas of your brain that activate when you think. So in, in NLP, we would say visual, auditory, kinesthetic, olfactory, gustatory, right? Well, what that really means is that you have a part of your brain that controls your vision, a part of your brain that controls what you hear, or your, or your auditory systems. You have a part of your brain that controls your kinesthetics. When you have a thought, or generative behavior, your brain activates in different sequences. That comes out in your words. It's a literally a behavior code. So if you take what you've learned and fit it into that sequence, they automatically do what you want them to do because it matches their internal program. But let's take that even further. What if you could take all that and connect it and attach it to the things a person most wants and desires in their life, using their exact words. What if you could do that? So that the minute you start talking about your product or service, they automatically feel like everything they want is right here in front of them, and they just want to do it because they want to do it, not because you want them to. That's what the emotional motivation, the emotional bonding checklist is for. That's why I taught it to you, because if you have a motivation problem for yourself, if you tap into your emotional motivation checklist, you'll become motivated to do it. When you do this process with a client, a significant other, um, a partner, whatever, you'll automatically know exactly how to give them what they most want and need and how they'll recognize it. And if you can give it to them, then boom, it's like instant bonding. And if you can't, you know exactly where to send them to get those needs filled by something else. So think about what would happen if you just stack all of these things together, what it could do for you, and how it could change your life. It's a $297 value. We're also going to throw in the Killer Influence Mind Control Manifesto. Now this is a 214 page manual that covers additional training. In addition to the six levels of the Universal Persuasion Protocol, you're going to learn about social hypnotic operators. These are nonverbal, socially programmed uh, scripts in each and every person that causes people to behave in a predictable way. You'll learn what they sound like, what they look like, how to protect yourself against them, and how to tap into them to generate more sales, more connection, more trust, more reciprocity, um, more liking from the people you associate with. Okay? And remember, everything that we're teaching you has two sides. You have the ability to do it and the ability to protect yourself from it. And I think that's a, an important lesson, that in order to be able to effectively combat persuasion, you also need to be able to use it. And it's up to you to decide how far down the rabbit hole of influence you want to go, but it's, I think it's vitally important for all of us to have that ability to protect ourselves from it. And the only way to do that is to become aware of it. Remember, anything outside of your awareness is outside of your control. Okay. So that's a $297 or $418 value. Plus, you're going to get access to a special online community, uh, members only. And we'll talk about that in just a moment. So if you took all that value, you're looking at $2,497. But we're not going to stop with just that. We've added some really powerful, super massive bonuses uh, today. And if you grab your program today, your Secrets of Human Influence course today, we're going to include these amazing special bonuses. The first one is going to be called Weapons of Mass Instruction, Scientific and Seductive Storytelling secrets. Okay? 
And this is the ability, uh, I, I spent a lot of years hearing that storytelling was the most powerful form of influence that exists. But every time I would go to a class on story work, all I would get was an, yet another version of the hero's journey or another course on Ericksonian metaphor, which never worked in the real world. I'm sorry, I mean, you know, in certain, there are certain contexts where classical Ericksonian stuff works really, really well, and there's stuff, and then there's everywhere else. And after buying yet another course on story work that just didn't take it deep enough, didn't go far enough, didn't give me the nuts and bolts I needed to feel really confident in deploying stories, I realized that if there was going to be a course that did that, I was going to have to make it. And so I spent years, literally, diving into the neuroscience behind how, why stories work, how they work, why they're so powerful. And I created a system that has six modules in it. The first module is all about the neuroscience of storytelling and metaphor, why it works, why it's the most powerful uh, influence and persuasion system on the planet. And we talk about uh, what we call connecting stories. How do stories, how do you create small little stories that you could tell in a line at Starbucks or at the movie theater that instantly bond you to other people in a fun, amusing, playful way? We have connecting stories. And we have alpha stories. Now, if you've ever had people at leadership retreats or um, work retreats teaching, telling you stories about people who overcome things or have motivated and inspired, these are called alpha stories. These are stories that literally uh, inspire, motivate, and add more persuasion push to um, whatever message you're trying to send, right? These are the kind of stories that we are most familiar with. We go to someone like Tony Robbins or uh, like a lot of CEOs have what they call their, their corporate storyteller. These guys have all these motivational sales stories, things of that nature. These are stories that amplify the persuasion push. Now let me explain the next kind of story. There's another category of story called alpha stories. Now alpha stories are different. Um, in, in that they reduce resistance to persuasion. So let me, let me explain the difference. Let's say, for example, that I have this big old filing cabinet here, right? And I want to move that filing cabinet across the room. Well, I can get some friends, I can get behind that filing cabinet, I can push it across the room, right? That's an alpha story. That's if I, just, I have a lot of resistance that i got to overcome, I get more energy, and I just keep pushing it until it moves. But an omega story works a little bit differently. An omega story, uh, let me go ahead and fix this really quick. Every time I move my autofocus gets screwed up. Omega stories work a bit differently. If I have this big old filing cabinet here, rather than, and it's only me, for example, if I take if I, if I tip that filing cabinet and I put some rollers underneath it, I can now push the filing cabinet much easier. If I take some, if I don't have rollers, I could take some oil. I can spread oil on the floor and remove the friction between the, the filing cabinet and the floor, and it's easier for me to move the filing cabinet. That's exactly what omega stories do. Omega stories don't add persuasion push, they increase influence by removing resistance to the persuasion that you're talking about. One of the most important things about these kinds of stories is when they're done effectively, they're never perceived as an attempt at influence. They change opinions and attitudes in the background. Okay, They, they, um, they create a process or phenomenon in the human nervous system known in the science as transportability. It's the ability to have someone fully absorbed and um, cognitively overloaded by the story. They go into a flow state, they don't want to get rid of it. They don't want to leave it. And it allows you to change even the most fundamental, it actually even soften the most fundamentally zealous people because it, it creates an experience in them that they can't argue with. There are six characteristics that make a story neurologically irresistible. And I will teach you exactly what those six characteristics are. I will teach you the other super powerful element that has to be in every story that you create to maximize absorption and load. And then finally, there's what we call ninja stories. One of the things, aside from all the other powerful methods that story does for us, the, the way it influences, you can actually take about 10 to 15 or 20 different NLP style techniques and embed them within a story that amplifies and magnifies and directs and fine tunes the kind of behaviors and beliefs that you want uh, the person to engage in. So story is extraordinarily powerful.
Okay? But in order to really get the most out of it, you have to have the, the universal persuasion protocol down, which is why we gave you that first. But if, once you're ready for that, when you're ready to take your storytelling abilities, and if, by the way, it doesn't matter if the story is verbal, it doesn't matter if the story is in print, uh, PowerPoint, it doesn't matter. As long as language is involved, these techniques will work for you, and they'll make everything you do super powerful. So we, that's what we call this, the uh, 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 weapons of mass instruction, scientific and seductive storytelling secrets. We're going to give this to you absolutely free. It's a $1,997 value, comes with a manual. We're going to just give it to you if you're one of the next few people to grab the, uh, you know, the uh, Secrets of Human Influence Home Study Course. Total combined value is $4,487. But that's not all we're going to throw in there. We're also going to throw in Renegade Reframing. Now think about this for a moment. What if for every time somebody told you no, gave you an objection or a limiting belief, you had at least 14 different ways to beat that belief, to overcome that objection, to win that argument? That is exactly what Renegade Reframing is designed to teach you how to do. It's designed to allow you to literally reframe any belief, any objection, any argument in seconds and allow you to install a different belief or a different way of thinking in another human being. This is based on some very high level NLP stuff. We've made it super fun and easy to learn. It even comes with what we call the, the Renegade Reframing Game, which is where you can literally set up a little card game that you play with people uh, and you throw a card at them and you say to believe and then they have to use the reframe on the card to beat the belief. It's, it's a lot of fun. It's a really fast, powerful way to change any limiting belief or overcome any objection in seconds, st including your own. That's actually one of the reasons that, that we included this. If you took a moment and wrote down all of the limiting beliefs that you have and you applied these patterns to it, your belief systems would start to change. They would become more flexible, more, um, uh, more malleable, and you would see possibilities and, and perceive possibilities for yourself where there weren't any before. This is a super powerful tool for changing yourself on top of being able to go anywhere, anytime, any place, and change other people's limiting beliefs and overcome objections in seconds. It's a $1,997 value. It's yours absolutely free if you're one of the next few people to grab the Secrets of Human Influence Home Study Course. And by the way, I want to thank you all for sticking with me through all the tech glitches. You guys are really awesome. I love you all. So it's a $6,484 value, but we're not going to stop there. We're also going to throw in probably one of the most powerful courses I've ever created. Um, I've said for many, many years that the most, one of the most important things that you can do to build your business with, with little to no budget is what we call public speaking. And if you've ever heard guys like T. Harv Eker or Tony Robbins or Richard Bandler, Lisa Sasevich, Robert Allen, um, I don't know who some of the more popular ones are nowadays, they're using, there's, there's two sets of systems that they use. They use their speaking system that they teach other people, and then there's the other stuff, the stuff they do below the surface of their presentation that hypnotically primes and installs behaviors in people uh, that they don't teach to the people in their other trainings. This is a breakdown of all of those things, the secrets of human charisma and conversion from the stage. You'll learn the, what we call persuasion architecture, which is the ability to design a talk on paper that subliminally and behaviorally primes people to want to consume your information and take the next step with you. We're going to talk about how to stand on stage, how to hold the microphone, what kind of systems you should have in place. We're going to talk about um, ninja stories, which we talked about in uh, Seductive Storytelling Secrets, and how that applies to your story work on stage, how to, create, how to do testimonials, how to absolutely um, build talks that hypnotically prime people to want to take the next step with you in a completely ethical and honest way. Well, the other thing that we do in this particular class is we actually deconstruct transcripts of other high-level A-list presenters and show you all the hidden hypnosis and NLP stuff in their presentation so that you can prepare for when you go to those trainings and decide if you want to allow that influence to impact you or not. Remember, without awareness, there is no choice. So if it's something, if, if building your business through public speaking, and I, I highly recommend, if you're any kind of coach, therapist, healer, whatever, that you need to be in front of people 
giving people maximum value and showing them where to go next and making them want to take the next step with you. This course will show you step by step by step how to do that and then how you, once you've done that, how to take the content that you've created and leverage it on places like YouTube or Instagram or things like that. I'll show you my patented YouTube hacking system that allowed me to circumvent a lot of heavy duty research to get a lot of, a lot of eyes on my videos without a lot of research involved. It's worked pretty well. Um, for a lot of years, I'll show you how to do it, and you can decide if it's something you want to build in to your uh, particular channels. It's a $1,997 value. Uh, it, we're going to give it to you free because we want you to be successful. We want you to have the biggest bang possible. And if you follow the system, you start with Killer Influence, and you go into CPI 2 and into CPI 3, and then fi finish it with Charisma and Conversion, you have all the tools in all the arenas that you're going to play with or that you're going to function in to, in to exert influence anytime, anywhere. If you do any kind of presenting whatsoever, this can make a profound difference in your ability to get more people to say yes. So let's just review really quick what's in the package, right? It's the Secrets of Human Influence 17 video, 7 stage universal persuasion protocol with all the videos and all the extra uh, manual um, killer influence mind control manual. There's about seven or eight extra appendices and chapters in the Killer Influence Mind Control Mastery Manifesto. Uh, and, and of course, Proxemic Hypnotic Operators, which is spatial, how, to, how to manipulate the spatial relationships between you and others. We talked about social hypnotic operators. There's also lie detection, cold reading, meta programs, all of these other aspects of human influence and hypnotic operators that don't rely on language, but give you a profound advantage. Uh, in, in influencing people in any arena. And of course, you're going to get the bonus weapons of mass instructions, neuroscientific storytelling secrets. It's a $1,997 value. You're going to get renegade reframing, how to instantly overcome any objection or change any belief in seconds, $1,997 value. And then of course, charisma and conversion, hypnotic presentation skills recorded live, $1,997 value. Right? Total value, if you were to add it all up, try to buy it on the website today, would be $8,481. But we're not going to make you pay $8,481 because you've absolutely stuck with me to this part of the webinar. Uh, you've put up with my tech glitches. I want to give you the best deal humanly possible. I want you to be able to go out into the world right now and start exerting influence at a much higher level. So for those of you who want to take it to the next level, for those of you who are serious, you're not going to have to pay $8,481. Heck, you're not going to pay $6,481. Um, hey, Romeo, nice to see you, man. Uh, $6,481. 53, we're good to, look, let's just cut to the chase. No pun intended to my friend Chase you. We're not even going to charge you $2,347. For those of you who are serious about becoming one of the leaders in influence, to having a set of tools that have simply been proven themselves to be unbeatable every place they've been used. You can get it all for a low one-time investment of just $9.97. If you act today, if you have a question, you can break that down into three easy installments of just $3.97. So once again, if you want to get yours today, all you got to do is go to www.killerinfluence.com forward slash go, www.killerinfluence.com forward slash go. Click that link now uh, because this does fill up fast. Uh, www.killerinfluence.com forward slash go. One more time with feeling, www.killerinfluence.com forward slash go. Click that link, grab your package because I've got more stuff for you got more stuff for you. And if you're worried that, well, what if this doesn't work, David? Well, I'm glad you asked. This comes with my 100% satisfaction guaranteed 60-day guarantee. If, if you're doing this stuff and you're applying it and it's not yielding the results that we've talked about, if you're not on the fast track to making more money by your standards and definitions, closing more deals, if you're not on the fast track to any kind of freedom, financial, social, spiritual, whatever. If you're not feeling more secure, more confident, more powerful, if you don't find yourself gaining the upper hand in, in any social encounter, I will refund every penny that you've invested in this course. Because if this doesn't work for you, I don't want your investment. I don't want your tuition. 
I want you to be successful. I want you, just like um, Romeo out there who took our material and went out into the world and applied it. I want you to be one of those success stories. So grab your course, work this material for a full 60 days. If by day 59 and a half, you're not moving forward in your life using these skills. They're not working for you the way we said they would. Pick up the phone, let Stephanie know, send us an email. We'll refund your money and you can keep the course. Okay. Now, I don't want you calling up on day 59 just to get your money back and you've been breaking in all kinds of bucks. Be honest and ethical with this, but if you've honestly put the effort in, if we haven't been able to work you through your sticking points and after 60 days, it's not giving you the results or moving you towards the results that you set for yourself, we'll give you your money back. You have absolutely nothing to risk. Uh, there's zero risk to you. If it doesn't work, let us know. We'll give you your money back. All you got to do to get yours is go to www.killerinfluence.com forward slash G-O. www.killerinfluence.com forward slash G-O. One more time with feeling. www.killerinfluence.com forward slash go. And if this wasn't an amazing enough offer already, for those of you, those of you who pride yourself on being fast action takers, if you grab your course before November 30th, 2022, 11.59 p.m., we're going to throw in these super amazing fast action bonuses. Now, these bonuses, let me just give you a little, little qualifier here. The next, the next few bonuses I'm going to share with you are only available until I log off this webinar. So everything I've talked to up to this point, you have until 11.59 p.m. If you, you click the buy button after 11.59 um, after 11 p.m., you don't get the package. But if you click the buy button now, before I log off this webinar, you're going to get these extra bonuses. And these are super awesome. I love, I love the fact that, we, that people really appreciate this. The first thing we're going to do is give you... Uh, a three-month trial membership to the NLP Power Mastermind Mentoring Program. So let me explain to you a little bit about what this is and how it works. On the third Saturday of every month, since 2010, we have been uh, getting together virtually and in person, and I literally go around and I ask, Cynthia, what do you want? Seth, what do you want? Jeff, what do you want? Jason, what do you want to learn? All right, and I write those things down on the board step back, I look at what everybody wants to learn about, I create a lesson plan right on the spot, and for the next five or six hours, I drill you on those skills so you can do them in your sleep. Now, you will not get a certificate from the NLP Power Mastermind Mentoring Practice Group. What you will get is hands-on training guided by me, working side-by-side -side with 10, 20, 30 other people who want to work on the same exact things that you do, get feedback, polish those skills, and then you go back out into the world and you apply them. Okay? You come back next month, third Saturday, what do you want to learn this time? What do you want to learn this time? You want to learn the same thing we did last month? You want to do something else. What's your new sticking point? We're going to drill down on that. We're going to uh, drill you on those until you can do them in your sleep. We're going to send you back out into the world armed with a skill set that you could actually use. Okay? It's a three-month trial. If after three months you decide that it's worth your time, you love the people, which most people do, and you want to stay, let us know. We'll show you how to extend your membership. If after three months you didn't really use it or you didn't get any value out of it, well, you got three months. You got to hang out with some cool people who like to do cool stuff. But the best part, probably, aside from the hands-on training and the interaction with me, is that since 2010, we've been meeting every single month. And we've videotaped every single one of those training sessions. And as a member of the NLP Power Mastermind Mentoring Practice Group, you get a complete 24-hour-a-day unfettered access to the entire 11-year video archive. Every single video that we've created from our Mastermind Mentoring sessions, most of which has never seen the light of day on YouTube for the public, you can binge watch to your, heart, to your heart's content. Okay. Uh, if after three months you want to continue to have access to that, we'll show you how to do it. Right? It's a $1,597 value. We're going to give it to you absolutely free. Why? Because we want you to be successful. And the one thing that I've seen make a difference more than anything else is the ability to get with 
uh, cool people like you who like to do cool stuff like you and practice together to develop connections and partnerships and friendships where you can practice, get feedback, and just hone your skills even more. It's what I call the second payment. In my world, I tell my students, in the Planet David, you're always going to pay twice. The first payment is the easy one. That's the money. That's the tuition. Right? That gives you access to the information. But it's the second payment that gives you ownership of the power, ownership of the skills. And that second payment is never money. That second payment is time, energy, effort, the willingness to do the drills, to internalize the skills. That moves you from access to ownership and it gives you a skill set that will serve you and protect you and move you forward in life every single time you choose to use it. And it's a power and a skill that only grows stronger and it can never be taken away from you. But to do that, you got to make the second payment. you got to do the drills. The NLP Power Mastermind Mentoring Program is the most powerful, effective, systematic way for you to get that hands-on training from the comfort of your own home in the way that's most useful for you. It's a, fifth, it's a $1,597 value. We're going to give it to you absolutely free if you're one of the next few people to sign up before I log off the webinar. Total combined value so far is $10,078. But as you can see from the first presupposition, number one, there's a second one. A lot of you don't want to wait. A lot of you want to start using this stuff immediately. And that's what this next program is going to do for you. You see, this is the Stealth Instant Conversational Hypnosis Crash Course. This is a program that I designed to get you up and running in a couple of hours. It's going to teach you in just a few hours. It's going to teach you the seven most powerful hypnotic language patterns. It's going to teach you instant and rapid inductions. It's going to teach you a rudimentary program custom uh, system of lie detection. It's going to teach you how to tap into people's emotional hot buttons and give you very specialized training in advanced language patterns. It comes with manuals, it comes with transcripts, and it comes with workbooks. Okay, it's a $997 value. We're going to give this to you free. You can literally watch 90 minutes of video and start going out into the world weaving hypnotic language that has people just eyes glazing over and just blatantly nodding and saying, okay, okay, okay. We'll make you a very, very powerful, charismatic human being. People will just love to listen to you and they'll hang on every word. Okay, and that's just the beginning. It's a $997 value, total combined value is $11,075. <coughs> and the coup de grace for those of you who really are serious, those of you who really want to become one of the power players in the world of human influence and persuasion, for the next 21 people to register before I log off the webinar today, we are going to include a special VIP super ticket to our next Killer Influence Live 2023 Secrets of Covert Hypnosis Certification Bootcamp. This is scheduled for Las Vegas at the Orleans Hotel and Casino, January 24th through the 28th. It's a $2,250 value, and you will learn how to systematically and automatically... Um, let me do that. You know, I'm, I'm going to read this to you from a different source. This is what's included in the Killer Influence Training. Oh, it's not here. I guess I'll have to do it. Oh, there it is. Okay. So, we're going to teach you the secrets of rock-solid state control. This is going to allow you to create literally empathic superpowers that allow you to bond with another individual, transfer your feelings and emotions to them. We'll teach you the power rapport techniques that we talked about uh, at the beginning of this presentation. We'll learn about classical rapport, uh, kinesthetic rapport, and then we'll talk about vibing. We'll teach you how to emotionally bond with any subject's deepest desires so that they want to do the things you want them to do. We'll teach you the four pillars of irresistible hypnotic influence. This is like authority, attractivity, affinity, acquiescence. Each of these are categories of persuasion and influence that if you master them, you can create very predictable types of compliance. Each one has its own type of compliance. You'll get different dynamics from an authority principle than you will from an attractivity principle. We'll teach you the dynamics and the nuances of that and how to apply them. We'll teach you how to cold read and personality profile people in as little as 90 seconds so you can realize and know very, very quickly what psycho-emotional buttons that you need to push to get the greatest amount of leverage in the shortest amount of time. We'll teach you the secrets of social hypnosis, the five core techniques that governments, media, public relations, newspapers, advertisers, marketers are leveraging on you all the time 
We'll show you how they work, what they look like, how you can protect yourself from them, and even more importantly, how you can ethically utilize them to create very powerful messages that make people predict, that make people behave and act in very predictable ways in an ethical, honest way. We're going to teach you proxemic hypnotic operators, how to manage the spatial characteristics and orientations of the places you're in. For example, where do you sit at a conference table so that you automatically have the most authority? Where do you sit? What, what places at a conference table should you avoid that make you the weakest power player at the table, right? That make you the least paid attention to. How do you talk to people and where do you position yourself so that they automatically like you more? Where do you position yourself so people automatically feel comfortable around you? There's different spatial locations that have these psycho, psychological leveraging te aspects to them. You're going to learn in depth how to use those so you can actually create powerful influence without opening your mouth. Very cool. It's very covert. Um, and when you, when you understand, you feel it, you won't believe it. Until, you won't believe it until you feel it. We'll talk about metaprograms, which are uh, ways of filtering human data, right? Attractivity secrets and how to generate authority, attractivity in other humans or attractiveness in other humans in yourself and other people, right? We'll talk about the simple resistance removal formula that lets you create reasons in anybody's mind that you want for doing what you want them to do, right? Simple language techniques that literally force a person to hang on your every word. So much more. There's so much more to this course, right? You'll get to experience all of it live in person for five solid days. It'll be you and me and a few hand-picked other individuals who raise their hand to learn this information and you will become the embodiment of influence. You will understand this. We call it seeing the matrix. It is the most powerful ethical system that's ever been devised and it will completely change your life and it only gets stronger the longer you do it. So you're going to get five full days of hands-on training. You're going to learn how to control your emotional states at will, emanate charisma on command, make people like, love, and trust you, uh, hypnotize people during normal conversations, and what that actually looks like, because hypnotizing people during a conversation is different than if you actually have them in a chair hypnotizing them. You need to know what the differences are, how, what they look like, and how to manage it. We're going to teach you how to read anyone instantly, detect lies, and so much more. Total package value for this would be $2,250. If you're one of the next 21 people, to click that buy button now. We're gonna give it to you for free. Total value of this package is $13,325, right? Um, and again, um, this comes with our VIP ticket, but let's say, oh David, it's, that's, that's, that's really close. I don't know if I can make that. If for some reason you can't make the training in Las Vegas, pick up the phone, let Stephanie know, we'll move you to the next Killer Influence event. If something happens at the last minute, your schedule frees up and you can come, but the, the seminar is full, pick up the phone, let Stephanie know. If you have this VIP ticket, if you go to the front of the line, we'll make a seat for you. If the price goes up, you're protected. You don't pay, you don't pay anything. You have that VIP ticket, you get to walk right in. You want to gift that ticket to somebody else who you feel could benefit from the live training, we'll honor that ticket. You can gift it to somebody else. Okay? This technique, this, this ticket does not expire. You have it until you use it. Your next tr available training for Killer Influence is January 24th through the 28th, but if it takes you four years to get to a Killer Influence event, this ticket will get you in the door, even when the price goes up to $3,700, $4,700, what have you. You'll still get in for free. Okay? Total value is $13,325. So let's just review really, really quickly. All you need to do is click the link in your, in your, in your chats there. Secrets of Human Influence Home Study Course is a $2,479 value. It's going to come with, absolutely free, the Weapons of Mass Instruction uh, Home Study Course, $1,997 value. We're going to give that to you free. Objection Obliteration, $1,997 value. That's the Renegade Reframe, by the way. $1,997 value. We're going to give that to you free. We're going to give you Charisma and Conversion, $1,997 value absolutely free. It's going to come with three months of the NLP uh, Mastermind Mentoring Program and the 11-year video archive. It's a $1,597 value. We're going to give it to you free. You'll get the Stealth Instant Conversational Hypnosis Crash Course, $997 value. We're going to give that to you absolutely free. And of course, the Killer Influence VIP Super Ticket for that five-day certification boot camp live in Las Vegas at the Orleans Hotel and Casino, January 24th through the 28th. It's going to be super cool, super powerful. It's a $2,250 value. We're going to give that to you absolutely free. Total package value, 
if you wanted to buy that on the website, which you can, be $13,325. You can get it all today for just one low installment of $997. And if you need help, we can break that down for you into three easy installments of just $397. All you got to do to get yours right now, click the link right now, go to www.killerinfluence.com forward slash G-O. www.killerinfluence.com forward slash G-O. One more time. Get, your, get yours now. This stuff goes fast. www.killerinfluence.com forward slash geo. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Oops. Okay. So, that being said, now, if you guys have um, any questions that I can answer, um, I would love to hear them. Normally, this would be part three of the webinar where um, I would answer any questions that you have. Unfortunately, our chat is not working out so well. So, for those of you who actually want to ask me a question, a real quick workaround might be if you go to our YouTube channel and tap into the live stream from YouTube and type your question in that chat, then I can start to answer questions for you. I would like, though, um, even if I can't customize it, I would like to teach you uh, some more techniques, if that's okay. Would that be would that be something you'd like me to do? Yes or yes. All right. So one of the things that people most often ask me about is this idea of how do we overcome resistance when people like we ask people to do something. And they just say, no, I don't want to do that. How do we get them to actually want to say yes? Now, this is a, um, I've tested this particular technique in so many different contexts. Um, I've even used it, um, you can find this on our YouTube channel. I've even used this technique to eliminate, to argue somebody out of pain. Think about that for a moment, right? Uh, I've literally had somebody complain about complain about, um, hold on a second, we got a spammer in here, sorry. Anyway, um, I've used this, like, had somebody complaining about back pain, and I've used this technique on them, and in, and in minutes, their back pain was completely gone, they couldn't get it back. Uh, there was another time I was teaching a conversational hypnosis master class, and for some reason I had like three or four people who are suffering from tinnitus, which to me has had the lowest, of all the things I've treated clinically, my success rate has always been, the, for some reason, was the lowest with tinnitus. I don't know why. I think it's because psychologically people don't want to hear what you have to say, and so it goes to a kind of resistance that um, most people don't know how to deal with. But I used, I used this resistance removal protocol on three people with tinnitus simultaneously, and in every single one of them, their tinnitus went away. So I think there's a little bit more going on here with this technique than where it was originally designed. And it, it, the original technique was developed by a gentleman by the name of Dr. Michael Pantalon. Uh, I think it was from Stanford. There's a book uh, that he wrote called Instant Influence. So if you want to learn more about the roots of this technique, which I call in my world the resistance removal formula, I would recommend you study and, and, and read his book. He's very, very, it's a very good book, very powerful stuff if you know how to use it. And if you can int integrate it into the universal persuasion protocol and the, the things that we're talking about with the motivational checklists and things like that, uh, you'll be amazed at how rapidly people just want to do what you want them to do. Even if they just told you five minutes earlier, they didn't want to do it. Right? It's, it's almost not fair. Right? Uh, but you know, since you're never lying or cheating, um, it's completely ethical to use. Right? Okay. So, like I said, our chat's not working as well as I would hope. So I'm going to just go ahead and teach this to you. And then what we'll do is, um, for those of you who are interested, after you've gotten, you click the link and you bought your packages and stuff, I want to do another webinar, special webinar, just for you guys, um, so that we can actually work together and get a little bit more interactive. Um, because you guys, you, you stuck with me. And I, I want you to know that I appreciate your loyalty and, and sticking with us and all these things. Okay, it's important to me that you guys feel um, like you're getting tremendous, tremendous value. And I, I want to show my appreciation by just, we'll, do a, we'll, we'll set a time, we'll do another private Zoom meeting or webinar, and we'll drill down on some cool stuff. 
right? It'll be kind of like your own personal Ask Me Anything with a little side order of, uh, of hands-on training. So for those of you who want to be part of that, go ahead and click that link, www.killerinfluence.com forward slash go, www.killerinfluence.com forward slash go. One more time, www.killerinfluence.com forward slash go. Click the link, click the link, click the link, and let's talk about the resistance removal formula. Uh, so let me just go ahead and jump into this really quickly. Sharing my screen. I hope this works. Okay, so like I said earlier, I'm going to go ahead and go to gallery mode. And I'm going to. If I share it, so I turn off my video. This should be. This is good right here. Okay, <clears throat> so first and foremost, the uh, the, the, the roots of this course can be found in the book Instant Influence by Dr. Michael Pantalon. Like I said, I, I always try to name my sources. One of the things you'll find about uh, me and uh, about the people in Planet David is we always tell you where we get our information. Um, there's too many people out there claiming that they, they created everything, and it's just not true. Um, everybody learns from somebody, even me. So uh, I want to just give people credit. So. Uh, this, this particular protocol allows you to make people create reasons for wanting to do the things they just said they didn't want to do. Now, the first thing that has to happen when you start playing with this formula is what we call uh, restore personal autonomy. So let me click on my video and talk about this a little bit. When, you, uh, when we're talking about restoring personal autonomy, what we're saying is, is that uh, you want to you want to get one, you want to neutralize reactants. So what does that actually mean? If I were to come to your house, hold on a second. Now my autofocus is screwing up. All right. If I were to come to your house, knock on your door, out of the clear blue, and say, "Hey, my name is David Snyder. Um, you don't know me, but I've been going to all of your neighbors. And 20, 30 years ago, my grandfather uh, willed me." Uh, 30 solid one ounce gold coins. And um, I have to get rid of these because I have some, some tax, tax money that need, or some tax bills that need to be uh, paid off. And I just had these, these gold coins appraised uh, and they're all going for like $2,000, $2,500 an ounce. Like, um, I'm just making the numbers up because I don't actually know what gold is going for right now. And here's all the proof. Here's all the documentation. You can even call these people to verify who I say I am. And um, that the gold is, this is 100% pure gold, this is what they're worth. How many, and I'm selling them for $100 a piece. How many would you like to buy? What would most of you tell me? Get the out of here, right? Why? I've given you all the documentation, I've given you all the proof. Why did you say no? The answer is called reactance. Reactance, I lovingly call the fuck you factor, right? Reactance is this emotional or physical pushback that we encounter anytime we're presented with influence that we didn't invite or we didn't ask for. When I knocked on your door, interrupted your dinner, you didn't know I was coming, right? And started giving you this amazing deal. A rational, logical person who actually did the due diligence and followed the proof would realize what an amazingly good deal that was, and probably, if they could, buy some because they knew they were going to get more than their money back. But most people wouldn't even think to do that. They wouldn't, that wouldn't even enter their radar. Why? Because they just they feel intruded upon. They feel like somebody is violating their territory, violating their space, and trying to convince them to do something. So they psychologically push back. Reactance is a phenomenon that comes up every time we experience anything that threatens our freedom of choice. Anytime we're presented with influence we didn't invite, right? Think about all the times that one of your friends has gone off on a problem that they had, they've ranted, you gave them advice, they completely ignored it, right? Reactance, that's why. So one of the things that you have to do when you want to get people to want to do the thing they just said they don't want to do, 
Again, paradoxical, but very true. You actually have to let them know that you're on their side and you support their right not to do it. You literally have to say, if you don't want to do it, that's fine. Right? And you have to make them believe you. And here's why. If you don't satisfy this one criteria first, anything that comes out of your mouth afterwards will be painted as a form of manipulation. It'll be painted as you're just trying to get me to do what everybody else is trying to get me to do that I said I didn't want to do. So the first thing that has to happen is you need to restore a person's sense of autonomy. You have to convince them in very, very clear, very, very solid ways that if they want to say no, you support their right to say no, you're going to support you, and you're behind them 100%, right? So a lot of times that what that looks like clinically is, like say for example, and I don't get, I don't get smoke cessation clients very often. In fact, if I had more than three in the last 15 years, um, I'm pretty lucky because I just did, that was just not my customer. I would get chronic pain, chronic illness, terminal illness, uh, fears, phobias, things of that nature, but like things like uh, smoke cessation or weight loss, I mean, that just wasn't my customer. So, but every now and then you'd get somebody who had an addiction or some behavior that everybody else wanted them to give up, but they didn't want to. And so the conversation would go something like this, doors closed, say, hey, let's be honest. You really don't want to lose weight, do you? You really don't want to quit smoking, do you? And I go, well, not really, no. But everybody's on my case about it. My wife's on my case about my smoking. My kids say I smell like an ashtray. You know, uh, there's no smoking at work, and I always get, I'm always getting flack. So I just, just, I just need you to make me quit. And that's always a key right there for you clinicians. Anytime somebody says I need you to make me do something, what they're telling you is I don't want to do something. Okay. And so you need to get them to, to, to cop to that. So, so you don't actually, you, you like smoking, don't you? You don't want to quit. Yeah, I, I do like smoking, you know, and, and I really don't want to quit, but I'm just tired of hearing all the bullshit. I'm tired of being picked on all the time or, or, or uh, persecuted or, pre, you know, um, I just feel like everybody's out to get the smoker guy, you know, and I'm just tired of it. So, oh, okay. So, well, look, let me be honest with you. I'm a neurolinguistic programmer. I'm a hypnotherapist. Dr. Lord Animal Medicine. I have 27 different ways I could, I could help you quit smoking. But I'm not going to do that. And the guy kind of looks at me weird. He goes, what do you mean? Goes, Look, when that door closes, and it's just you and me, I am your ally. I am your advocate. My job is to give you what you want. Not what all those other people want. And I want you to understand that. If you want to come in here and pretend to go into trance, and I pretend to hypnotize you, and you come out and say it didn't work, I'll let you do that. If you want to come in, if you want to come in and sit in my chair and, uh, and, and you want to enjoy smoking more, I'll help you do that. If you want to uh, work on something completely different from your smoking, I'm cool with that too. If you don't want to quit smoking, I support that. I support you. I am your advocate. I don't care what your kids say. I don't care what your parents say. I don't care what your wife says or what your boss says. I care about what you want. And I want you to understand that. Wow, that's, that's pretty cool, dude. So let me ask you a question. Just hypothetically, though. Put all their desires aside. Let's pretend for a moment that you wanted to quit smoking. Not, your, not for your wife's reasons, not for your kid's reasons, not for your boss's reasons, but for your reasons. If you wanted to quit smoking for you, just so I understand you better, why might you want to quit smoking? Guy, and they'll go into, they'll, they'll start to think about it. Well, <sighs> truth be told, it's kind of expensive, and uh, we could really use the extra, you know, that the money that we save. And I noticed the past couple months that uh, when I go to play with my kids, um, I'm kind of short of breath. I can't really, I can't really run as long as I used to run. And I kind of like to be able to, to be able to play with my kids when I get older. You know what I'm saying? Oh, so 
kind of expensive. You could probably use that money that you saved and you kind of like to be able to, you've been short of breath when you've been playing with your kids, you kind of like to be able to play longer when you get older. Yeah, dude, I think I, if I were to quit smoking, that would be why I want to do it. Okay. So for the sake of conversation, on a scale of zero to 10, if you were one, if you wanted to be able to, you know, breathe better and play with your kids longer and save that money, on a scale of zero to 10, how much might you want to do that? I don't know, probably six or seven. Oh, really? Six or seven? Amazing. So let me ask you this. Six or seven. Why so much? Why, why didn't you rate that less? And the guy will go, what? Well, six or seven, that's, that's pretty high. Why, why do you want to, you know, save money so much and, 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 and breathe in last longer? Well, duh, dude, I, I want to be healthy, right? And I, and I can do something else with that money besides buy cigarettes with it. Oh, okay. So what's the next step we need to take to help you to save money and, and breathe and last longer and have more endurance for your kids? <laughs> well, I guess I need, to, I need you to help me stop smoking. Okay, you ready to do that? Yeah, I guess so. All right. Let's, well, let's get started. Boom. Right? So let's, let's kind of de um, deconstruct or, or what, we, what we just did. But before I do that, let me just remind you that um, those fast action bonuses that we talked about, uh, hold on a second, go away when I log off the webinar. So once again, just as a kind of a review, um, you're going to get the Secrets of Human Influence uh, home, home study course, and that's going to—it's a two thousand four hundred seventy-nine dollar value. You're going to get the weapons of mass instruction for one thousand nine hundred ninety-seven dollars. We're going to give that to you free. The object—the uh, renegade reframing out of conversational belief change—is a one thousand nine hundred ninety-seven dollar value. Charisma and conversion, uh, one thousand nine ninety-seven for free. We're going to give you the Healthy Power Mastermind Mentoring Program, the Stealth Instant Conversation Hypnosis Crash Course. For 997 and the Killer Influence VIP Super Ticket for our five-day certification event live in Las Vegas. All that's a $13,325 value. You can get yours uh, just by clicking that link right now, uh, www.killerinfluence.com forward slash geo. Click the link, click the link, and um, while you're doing that, let's go back and deconstruct uh, our particular uh, this particular protocol and go step by step through it so you guys kind of have a format to follow. All right, so I'm going to go and get my PowerPoint on here. Not my PowerPoint, but uh, my OneNote. So let's look at what we did. The first thing we did was restore personal autonomy. And again, this arguably, in most cases, will be the longest piece of the puzzle. Um, because you really, really have to make them believe that you're on your side. Now, if you've gotten your state control down, you've gotten your rapport skills down, you're using their words, you're tapping into their criteria, their emotional bonding checklist, then this is going to be actually a pretty simple, straightforward process. But you really don't want to try going forward until you've actually gotten... The, them to believe that you're on their side. Then you want to soften it. What does softening mean? Softening means is you're going to give them a reason why you're asking them or telling them what you're about to tell them. One of the most common um, softeners that I use a lot, works really, really well, 